I ain't gonna hold you. I always wanted to get married and all that other stuff. Obviously, you know, me and Candy been rocking for a minute, man. That's that's my that's my right hand. Okay. But that wedding just be walking you down, <clears throat> dog. I ain't gonna hold you. That bitch like a final exam and shit that Ooh. you just know coming. You like, damn, bro. <laughs> Whole grade about to depend on this bitch. <laughs> hey, I promise you though, that shit. Probably, I've seen that shit. That shit probably. Don't so touch crazy. the king like that. Don't touch the king, bro. Oh, Don't man. touch the king, bro. Is that? Yeah, they, they posted. Uh, ESPN posted that Bron got scratched. Yeah, relax on that. Yeah, don't touch. Don't touch Wait, the king. Wait, but bro. have Niggas y'all paid attention to the trainers whenever Ooh, somebody does get hurt. like the stuff that they put on y'all when you bleed to make it clot? I always wonder, do the fans see us uh, sniff the? Yes. The yes. Hey, like, don't put me on the goddamn. TV they do because shit, sometimes when y'all mic'd up, it be on. Because they ask what y'all be doing when you. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> like some of us got uh, no after work activities. 86. 86. <laughs> yeah. 86. Had me looking weird and shit. Nigga. Sometimes you just got to wake up, though. But that shit is fire. You Yo, try to drive off with chill. that shit? <laughs> you two plays hype for sure. Hey, uh, welcome to another episode of The Trenches. We here. I'm a little sauce. I was just trying to jam. Uh, I am your host, Zaire Franklin. Uh, joined here with the whole gang. We here. We in full Do we effect, need to intro our miscellaneous okay, ones? Or no, like, I think we should just you go. You just want to get right into it? Where you want to get it? We were oh, into gosh, it. Oh, gosh. I'm cool. letting y'all know right now, bro. Look, movie world, whatever it is, bro, stop fucking playing with Angela Bassett, bro. Mm. Oh, and shit. I'm standing on business on that. And if anybody from the Oscars want to tussle, nigga, we could tussle. What you they doing to Miss Angela? Bro, look. I understand what it was that y'all did, That's bro. That's the child of mama, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. I, so let, 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 me, let me make sure that every, everybody yeah, is clear. <laughs> let me make sure that everybody's clear on what, what, my, what my hate is or what my smoke is for the Oscars right now. It's been for years that, you know, the world has, I, let me say this, the, the African-American community, the media, the, the, the film writers, and all this stuff like that have been requesting or even saying that Angela Bassett deserves to have... Deserves to have a Oscar. And she's done amazing work from Waiting to Excel, from how Stella got her groove back, to the I, most one of the most iconic um, um, biopics of Tina Turner, What's Love Got to Do With It, mm. right? And then you obviously go to her being uh, T'Challa's mom in, in Black Panther in both of the films. Amazing, amazing actress. Um, you guys fuck around and give her an honorary award. And I just to me, I don't think that that is 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 giving her. I don't think that's even enough. I don't think that that's enough. So y'all need to stop stop playing with our leads. Stop playing with our leads. Stop playing with our black actresses. Like mm. don't do that. Mm. If y'all gonna play, because y'all wouldn't y'all wouldn't fucking dare. Y'all would not dare to give uh uh um any. Angelina, let Angelina Jolie be coming up for an award. I, I guarantee y'all, y'all would not give her no fucking honorary award. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I, y'all she, would, she never won the actual award. I don't believe that she's ever won. So it. they gave her an honorary. I'm in a Google they right. gave they gave Angela Bassett an honorary Oscar award. Like they let and don't get don't <laughs> get me wrong. Rome. Y'all gave her and look it up. Like they gave her so. Oh, sorry. Um, and then also too, wait, wait, on the back of that. Because this is this is a totally separate from the Angela Bassett smoke. I do want to make sure that I'm giving love and I'm shouting out Regina King. Um, Regina, it was amazing seeing you. We want to continue to see you. Um, I know that obviously losing your son to something that was very, very, um, uh, you know, you didn't know, right? Like no, no one knows, no, no one knows the day or the hour or certain situations, but. You know, I, I've talked to my mom and obviously other parents are like, you know, you don't want to bury your children. Mm. So I know that that's something that was very like different and, and something that you had to work through. But I'm so glad and I was so happy to see you respectfully. Regina. I was happy to see you and, and doing, you know, whatever it was just to see you on TV, it, giving an award, doing whatever. It was just good to see you. But in terms of like what did that what, what that was. I believe that Angela Bassett deserved that Oscar stage, bro. She deserves that, bro. Stop giving her what she don't deserve, bro. She deserved that night for the mic to be dropping down if she talking too long type shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't 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 disrespect yeah, her, bro. But my fault. I'm sorry. On so the, no, I mean, I was I'm gonna give some backstory though. on Tim. So it says that after nearly 40 years as an actress and two Oscar nominations. 
She got this honorary award for on, uh, Black Panther. Come on. Uh, she had a 15 minute speech. Come on. Um, I didn't know that was all of the extent, but wow. <laughs> yeah, like, I didn't know she didn't have an Oscar. Hey, Jay, that's what, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but, I'm uh, a little taken back. The only one. thing is, a lot of greats don't get that. We were just mm, arguing about Kobe only having one MVP. Like, you get Damn, what I'm saying? Damn, wait, whoa, whoa. Yeah, Kobe. Yeah, he only has Kobe one MVP, yeah. but, and he was a undisputed best player on the planet for at least four or five years. Yeah. Absolutely. That's but, amazing. you know, we always, like, sometimes the best players and the best people don't win the award that specifically dictates that they're the best. That's, <laughs> cough, that's cough. all that's all <laughs> I've been trying to really say. So even though, like I said, obviously Angela, shout out to Angela, obviously much love, respect, and exhale. peace to uh oh. Miss Regina. Uh but you know, obviously Angel Angela is great. Uh, but sometimes the best don't win the awards, i.e. Kobe, i.e. some other people that we may have or may have not been <laughs> speaking about. Uh you know, sometimes that's just how that goes. You say something? But you know what? My fault. People still saying those people's <coughs> names. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> y'all know how all I I'm gonna say. I already let y'all know if it's Syracuse, yeah. Philly. For sure. We're giving it up. I might have to throw Indianapolis. Indianapolis close to getting in there. I, I, I need, I need. I need I'm just, wait, submit. hold up. Can we pause <laughs> for both of y'all for a minute, though? Uh-oh. Okay. Both of y'all. We, we got to give y'all y'all little flowers now. Okay. For the season that y'all did have still. Big uh, flower. Uh, Both of y'all. Niggas be big flower. Speed, are you at that point in This man season? Z just saying, fuck Where it, I'm going like... to beat my own damn self again. Okay. And then Speed over here just fucking flying out the air tackling niggas and shit. So, like, <laughs> let's just give y'all y'all a little moment for a second. I mean, I feel like niggas know. They do, but I feel like we got to give y'all y'all a moment again. Like, y'all really need y'all a moment. Because let's think about it. You know, as far as both of y'all have come, like, first of all, ain't no, not everybody just out here doing this. So let's just be for real. Call it spade to spade. Period, pool. Y'all now the old, old, y'all now vets in the league. Just, sure. you know, just sure. like soak up the moment. The like, you know, people that always did, think man, about what's going on that right did. now. Like, this is show and yeah. I'm the star. Yeah. I know that's right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, shout out to the boys. Shout out Speed, to y'all. Are you at that point in the offseason where you starting to reflect, like, damn, I ain't gonna lose. I did. Was numbers on the board. You had, you I did the damn hey, thing. Bro, I was doing that week to week. Yeah, on week to week. On week to week. On week to week. It was some. It was some stuff that I didn't have, but it was a lot of stuff that I did have. And you looking at yourself, man? Niggas not doing this. Shit, nah, yeah. Niggas not doing this. It was this. not me. I swear. Even before I had a crown, I was looking at it like niggas can't do this, but I can do. Because I was in the Atlanta that did. And the kid that did. I so, I mean, it is what it is. But every other athlete feel the same way. So the only thing that separates us. We ain't talking about them though. We talking about y'all. Yeah, for sure. But the only thing that's going to separate us for real is the accolades of whatever the NFL decides to that's true. dish out. That's the only thing that, that – because we all feel like we're the greatest. So, yeah, so you know what I mean? that's the only thing that's going to distinguish us. I will say I'm a little more – now, I can't say that. This season I feel like, I, you know, you obviously you keep – not going to keep in track, but you seeing what's going on out there. Mm-hmm. Anybody that say they don't see what's going on is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Even though last – my t- 2022, I really wasn't paying – I ain't know – Certain shit was what it was, but I'm gonna leave that alone. Mm-hmm. But um, just I feel like you just kind of you just you, but it is kind of cool to kind of see like what you got going. On. I'm one of the more of the people that's like uh, I would say I just be focused on my stuff like week to week. You kind of just mm-hmm. always critiquing yourself. Sometimes I'm one of the people that's like you always trying to you know push yourself to get better. So like even if it's something that I'm great at, I'm like I'm trying to continue to keep my strengths my strengths. But I'm trying push to work it. on my. You yeah. feel me like that? So sometimes I feel like at least for me. And something I always try to work on, just like when I'm in the game, is just having grace for myself. You know what I mean? Kind of, you feel me? Okay. Like still, like trying to work with, like, all right, you're not going to be perfect. You're not going. You feel me? Stuff like that. So sometimes after the season, I just be such in a, uh, I'm saying self uh, evaluation yeah. mode that when I finally get in the season, I'm able to look back at the whole thing. Then I'm kind of like, oh damn, I didn't do that shit. But me personally, so, I like <laughs> to see other niggas winning because it's like. When I see other niggas winning, like, I feel like uh, Fred and and uh, Greenlaw and Roquan and oh, Pat, mm-hmm. I feel like with them being at the top, I like to see the way Bobby they Bobby Like, the uh, Z, Z's pulling up to the to the game and breaking it out with them boys, like, in the playoffs, that was hard. That was I OD. Hold, I, that was, I ain't gonna lie, that was so OD. I fuck, the, I fuck with the way they, like, we ain't got shit no, they like, shit. That shit. But when it's my turn... 
I'm gonna do it way better. Like you feel <laughs> that shit made me mad. I'm like, we all close, yeah. we close and shit. But I'm like, we ain't that got, we ain't never had no breakdown. Yeah, man. No, that was that I'm was like, different. Damn, that's what the oh, same yeah. friend niggas was no, doing. We just talk our shit. Yeah, we just get in the huddle and get the barking. Like, like, who yeah. want it? Like, you feel? Who want it? You know what we bring to the shit? Nigga, we used to be spitting on motherfuckers. Oh my god. Nah, see, Jada always. That's our fourth time. I have a picture. There's literally a picture. I'm sitting there like this. Jada, I'm in the middle of a of, uh-huh. of 50 motherfuckers. You stepped on me before. That's right, that's you there. literally stepped on me before. We about to, we about to go before. to war. I'm in the middle of 50 motherfuckers. Hungry uh, dogs. They you stepped on 300. me. What's the beef? Spartans. Hey, 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 Tim. What's what, the, uh, Tim. what is your profession? <laughs> uh, but you know what? This uh, is, uh, hey, what's uh, the, Normandy? What's the beach? Normandy? Oh, yeah. Storm and Normandy. Yeah. Look at yeah. Storm and Normandy. It's they crazy. They just fly Pride and Ryan, and you in there trying to capture content. I was. I was. Who played Call of Duty with, uh, <laughs> when you had to pull up to the beach in Normandy or whatever like Swear, that? Swear, I'm here. War of the Wars. Black Ops. So many times. Like, oh, no, that, that was War of War. Y'all really yeah, be locked in because another I'm linebacker said sorry nigga. for you. Anybody. For hey, on me. Hey, I don't see? even remember. I know I got stepped on by you and somebody else was like, I'm sorry. And I was like. Let me just speak on how content people be mad in a way. I be mad like me and Speed, we warm up together and shit. Like, I go first Speed after me and shit. I be trying to walk over for the next drill, but now I can't walk because I'm I ain't trying to fuck up speed shot though at the same yeah. time. Like Yo, yeah. I ain't trying to step with my man's product. Like you feel me? Away. He Yo. trying to get his shit off too. Gonna be mad as shit. He hit the ta 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 off uh, clean and then he see me walk by. He gonna be Nah, hey, look, yeah. can, I, can I go ahead and but get it? But they be in the way. I'll be like, Bro, we going no, this can way. I get my, the shot and I'm not moving. I gotta I'm gonna get, get, my, get hit. I gotta get my EJ Speed smoke though. Like, look. So before the game start, y'all already know that Speed got talked about his little joint. I be seeing he be clearing his lane for him to sprint to the end zone. Oh, yeah. He be, ha, ha, ha. You know, relax, nigga. You know what I mean? Let me get in my I, 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 I said, okay, him, Speed. Yeah. I, I said, okay. Yeah, that's my little shit. Yeah, I do yeah. That, uh, no, that shit fire. Sprint it out. Go dap up the... Uh, the the, uh, the section down there. The section. Yeah. yeah. What right section? Uh, what section you go to? Uh, right by the... Um, by the end zone? Right by where we come out of the tunnel. Ooh, right by yeah. where I used to leave right my best right there. Yeah. But no, you it's know usually, what? It's uh, usually Pat McAfee. He'd be down. Yeah, yeah. His, right uh, there. Yeah, his his suite's right, right there. there. Yeah. yeah, his suite right there. So it usually be Pat and whoever. Sometimes he pull up. Sometimes it be other people in that joint. But I always show his sweet love. Low-key yeah. in Atlanta, I thought somebody was going <laughs> to fuck yeah. you up. Boy, I thought that fucked up your room. Yeah, yeah. That boy, oh, yeah, what a guy. Shout out to Pat. Shout out to Pat. Shout out to Pat. It'd be 12 degrees. Pat be in that joint in the tank top. I swear. Hey, hold on. Hold on. Look, I, I, I asked EB them a couple times, like, how many tank tops do you think Pat actually got? They said he, I said, that shit like a TV show, like The Simpsons. He got a whole, <laughs> like Family Guy. He got a whole a closet of so just black tanks. Hey, <laughs> no, no, no. Real talk, though, but for the last home game, though, I got to shout out Pat, bro. He made the cutoff hang time jump. Tough. Cut off hang yeah. time what? Yeah, he had the like hang he had the hang hang time hoodie and oh, he, he cut the cut sleeves off. off that Oh, yeah, yeah. That was like, like your high school uh, old lineman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. That was tough. That was you tough. You got to chill on the old lineman, bro. <laughs> you got to chill. No. Cool People be O-lineman. coming at me because you be talking about old lineman and I'm just... I just I do have personal bias against O lineman. I ain't gonna lie. For, 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 speaking of goofy O lineman, did y'all see? Uh, <laughs> did y'all see uh, Patty? Uh, like when they play uh, the, the Chiefs, uh, did y'all see uh, Patty pop in the uh, in the suite with uh, like Taylor Swift and Jason Kelsey? No, and all that? did y'all see that? Bro, he no. hated it there. Oh Hold shit, <laughs> hated it there. You got Jason Kelsey musty go ass and is doing no shirt. Yeah, just yelling, drinking beer. Yeah, like, like yelling, bro, drinking bro, beer. You got Taylor Swift over here. She's celebrating every I'm first down. Now, her. listen, I, listen. I've played. It's funny because when I talk to my like my homies and when all everybody comes to the games, I be realizing that like our game day experience is just so different. And I've actually never experienced your side of it. Like, so I don't mm-hmm. go to football games. Like, you know what I mean? I've That's never fair. really been in them the experience yeah, like, to be lit and just have a good time. But I can only imagine what it would be like. <laughs> To watch a football game and they celebrate every first down. You be like, yeah. all right, nigga. Like, come on, bro. Like, you know how many first downs For free, he should have scored. Like, it should have been a 20 yard, down. nigga. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, he missed the motherfucker back. You feel me? You like, keep celebrating. But yeah, maybe, like, stop, maybe like, that's y'all how Y'all jumping it is up and down and shit. For bullshit. Like, maybe that's yeah. how it is when you're a girlfriend that doesn't necessarily have all of the deep knowledge of the game. Maybe that, but you can. So you're saying maybe. she should have dated Travis Kelsey what? just because she knew he was an elite and dominant football player? No, <laughs> is that I'm what you're saying? saying? That's not what I said. I said maybe 
she just doesn't know the deep ins and outs. Like you're. Are we ever gonna let Taylor Swift hate go? I'm just, that's all I'm ever gonna ask. Are we? Okay, ever I'm sorry, but I'm trying to watch the damn game. I don't want to see Jason Kelsey's stomach or Taylor Swift. I don't. First of all, I'm gonna say that it is crazy that uh, I saw somebody. Uh, I saw Ply say. Her jacket was raw, though. What Shout out to uh, the 49ers girl. I saw Plaza say, um, basically, like, um, talking to prom. Let me look that joint up. I ain't going to hold it. If my brother was out there scoring touchdowns, I'd be just like. Showing your belly? I ain't showing my belly, but okay. I'd be in that joint lit just like, bro. You going crazy for what? him? What? Oh, absolutely. I mean, come on, I ain't gonna hold you yes. Res- Res- Respect, respect. Get also, too, can, like, can I get off of Ply said real he, quick? He about to retire, but go ahead, though. Ply said, T. Morant, I don't know your Twitter account, but if you ever see this, turn up however you want on that court side. As long as you ain't hurting nobody, do you, and do it your way. Jason Kelsey was shirtless, diving in the crowd, hammer, and America loved it. Even me, we all should just enjoy ourselves. Yeah, I'm so with that, that. What do y'all say? Enjoy it. I'm with that. Hey, one that's pull up. Right. So this that's what I'm I'm saying, that's your son, brother. Saying. You get to pull up and be a fan. See okay, that's your brother. son. But people say you corny when you turn up and you get into the beef if and basketball. Yeah, I don't know about y'all, but yeah, I'm acting a fool. It was different fool. when it was Morant, when it was Jason Kelsey. Yeah, when T. Morant turned up, he was picking up people's kids. Though I don't understand that part. Who? Oh, Kelsey. No, I thought that was somebody's daughter. Nah, that was somebody else's kid to see. No shirt on. I don't know if he got kids. He does have kids. Yeah, he got kids. Yeah, I saw it. No, he said somebody else. He said somebody else. He picked up somebody else. Uh, like they showed that it was like he picked up a fan to see Taylor Swift. Oh, that's weird. I thought those were her, his kids. Weird, I saw uh, that he just, video. He just touched somebody else's kids with no shirt on. Yeah. That's a, it. Wouldn't be my daughter. That's just me. Yeah. I just. But never mind. I mean, I digress. First of all, don't come for me. Crazy major. Sh- I don't want to get too deep uh, into the into the to the banter of the shit because I understand that it was a light topic. But shout out to T. For like, he ain't just T. Moran ain't just there. I know people be seeing the shit on the camera, bro. Like on the game on the sideline, but I don't think y'all understand how much Job really be with his father. Like Job, Job really be with T, bro. I could yeah. I could speak on sometimes there's certain people that you need to see at the game and it, it like gives you. And strength. it's not Taylor Swift. Yeah, I want to see. Yeah, I like, want to nah, see job, the snaps. Job be with uh, T. Like her. Job be with T. Like <laughs> T be right. T be around, bro. This and one he I want to see this, 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 whatever, this is what I'm going to say about Taylor Swift, bro. Like, I, now nah, I get it. They definitely overdo it, overdid it. Like, Jack, it, it was raw, though. Bro, but sh- I'm saying, though, like, she is a superstar, bro. Y'all y'all yeah. know what they doing. The NFL is a business. At what point are we just going to understand this? I want to watch the football game. I do don't like, though. Like, I saw Pacheco score a touchdown, and they showed Taylor Swift. And I was like, bro, That's what I'm saying. Like, Pacheco? I'm missing crucial snaps <laughs> for Taylor Swift. So you watch film, too? Hell yeah. Respect. Come on. How can we be better? Let's watch Respect this together. Jada. Respect. You see, you see how I'm they be on social media? Yeah. With my iPad. Judging I mean, your, when I was watching uh, the game, I feel like they only she, show Taylor Swift from Travis Kelsey. She, she, she out here judging your man covers run fits and shit. Now what? <laughs> I'm just trying to be educated. So when the conversation comes up, I can be What you going to do if you was in the hallway? This pre-pod and shit, like before the pod ever came. You in the hallway, you just walking to lunch and Jada just say, Hey, did you know that you had that over in cover three? I'm gonna think, what? Did you I'm know like, that the I'm penalty was on I'm going to think somebody oh, ratted man. me out. That's crazy. <laughs> I told <laughs> me this. We used to have a... a I'm going to think somebody ratted me like out. Like somebody was talking real. to her about it? Yeah, I'm going to like, who the fuck? <laughs> See? Coach be on that. Here niggas go. Here so niggas go. I ran that shit back. What do you say to me? What are you talking about back there? Gossip, look, gossip around the building. Don't worry about it. Niggas went outside and took me and walked in. Niggas gossip around the building. And that coach, like, what's wrong? You know what the fuck going on, bro. That's hilarious, bro. Hey, but nah, yeah, that that whole, that I think that situation is just crazy. But to, again, to, to reply kind of like the plies, bro. Like, look, yeah, he ain't lying, bro. T, as, as a, we support black fathers, bro. Turn up, man. Hell turn yeah, because when the last time you seen somebody black daddy turn on the sideline? Exactly, at the NBA game. Besides LeBron. Pat Mahomes right. probably be carrying it, though. Hey, he do. He be carrying it. He do. Yeah, it was the cigar for me. The it's smoking the moment, moment, moment. Moment. That's the thing about Pat, bro. I ain't gonna lie, Pat make niggas proud and shit. You be yeah. like, damn. You, it's nothing like when the face is, you be like, you carrying it, bro. Go ahead, That's carry it. The crazy fun. part, everybody pops want them to be either the president or a quarterback in the NFL. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> My nephew thinks he's going to be Patrick hey. Mahomes. 100%. You were a president or the quarterback? He could yeah. be. He, he ain't never seen let a me, let, no, no, no. Like, oh, let me tell you. Let me oh, tell you. Oh, let me oh. tell you a real beef that me and Tim had, bro. Ooh. A real beef. My Since, God, no, son. On, no, 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 no. Hold on. Don't, don't do that. Let me go. Let me go. Go ahead. Since Cairo 
could, but since he could walk, literally, I've been teaching Cairo how to throw the ball. First of all, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really want Cairo to play football. Let me start there. I don't, I, look, what do you, you know say? Oh, every NFL hold, father hold says. That, so hopefully you ain't got to go through that. You know like, his dad got records? Hold on. Can I oh, finish? Okay. Can I finish? Broke his own. Oh, okay. I don't even really care for Cairo to play football. I really prefer him. First of all, I need, I need that uh, Oshanti. We right shortstop. My young boy right-handed, and I'm already teaching him how to bat left-handed. That's how I'm carrying yeah. it in the household. Just understand that's me. First, then I'm really feeling him as a point guard. You know what I'm saying? A, a floor general. I'm feeling Jameer it. Nelson. You mm. feel me? Like that type deal. You feel me? He's just going to be thorough out there calling plays because his daddy was a leader. You hear me? Point so one hand. Right the right the yeah. Now, if he so happily get the bug, which I'm not going to lie, he got it. We woke up this morning. He right before school. He just threw the ball at me. Yeah, he has I, the bug. He talking Candace talking about something. No, put on Gracie's corner. He Football? I said, damn, little dude, you want to watch football? He, yeah, okay. I said, Hi, right, it is. It is. Understand, my young boy playing quarterback. Straight up. I'm with he it. playing quarterback. If that don't work. And he going to keep it because I asked him for it. He said, nope. Uh, yeah, because yeah, yeah. I be teaching him ball security and job security. He said, nope. Yeah, <laughs> but if that don't work, my young boy going to strong safety. Just because I always wanted to be a DB. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can see that. that to but. DB. That's that's how that flow about to go. He's not playing linebacker. Not that there's something wrong with linebacker, but again, I did that. I'm out here with the shoulder, the knee, the, you feel me, all kind of shit. I'm running. Whole, Z did that. Dad did that. So hopefully you ain't got to go through that. Can I you talk? raised differently. Can I, I had no father at the fucking uh, pickup game. <laughs> I'm at Little League. So when they just put my ass on O-line, I ain't had nobody to come uh, contest that shit. I just, my son off there, I just had to do what the hell there, the bro. coaches said. Now, I had some good coaches who look after me. Shout out to E. Shout out Big E. Shout out to E. But, you feel me? That's just what I had to go through. Cairo, on the other hand, first of all, my son not stepping on the field unless we got to understand it. And don't play with me because I'll walk on this field, bro. Don't even do me like that, bro. Hey, yo, can I talk? I don't care. That's in Indianapolis, Philadelphia, or whatever suburb we decide to settle in. You hear me? <laughs> now, you go. Can I talk? Go ahead. Thank you so much. So, in terms of my godson, right, wanting to play whatever sport he feel like he wants to play, if he decides that he wants to play linebacker, safety, or whatever it is, and don't get me wrong, quarterback is great. I think that he would be a, a, a great co- young quarterback. He's two. I think he would be a great young quarterback. <laughs> whatever. If that's the position that he wants to play or he aspires to play, or if he wants to, if he if he decides to be like his father, I feel like I am going to like I'll be like, yo, bro, like you want to play offense and defense? He like, no, nah, Uncle Tom, I don't want to do that. Well, what you want to do? I just want to play defense. All right, what you want to do? I want to play the same position as my father. Damn, why you? He was cold, my dad. I feel like I can woo woo. All right, bro, play the position. Your father was cold. Go Broke ahead, his own do record. it. No, yeah. no, bro, you. Hold on, this is what I'm saying to you. Is if Ro decide, bro, we're talk. Ro play basketball, he do whatever, and he just decided to say, hey, bro, like, look, I'm playing linebacker, bro. You ain't going to stop him from playing linebacker. He's going to do it. This is what I'm trying to explain to you. No, I'm not. I'm going to support Cairo to do whatever he want to do. If he don't even want to play sports, I'm going to be on his <coughs> side. I, I, I honestly true. don't care. I'm going to support my son for whatever he aspires to be. Right. I think the convo is more so, let's take it off, Ro. Okay. Um, because you are his godfather, and obviously you play a role in him growing up. So I ain't even gonna play. And I know you're gonna support him, and I love that you're gonna support Cairo whenever he does. For sure. Um, but we always gotta be on the same team. It's us versus them. Uh, but <laughs> um, what I think is more so is like when you like it's like we talked about before. When you achieve, especially when you're the first in your generation or you're the first in your family to go far and go do stuff, you doing it, and you had, and sometimes in a lot of situations you had to do it the hard way. Okay. You had to do it in a way that was either unconventional, uh, more violent, more whatever it is, just to, to, to achieve what you had to do. Now, that might have fit your personality. That might have fit your who you are and all the other stuff Like at the same time. But you really doing it so the next, the next generation, the next uh, people after you, they got the option. You okay. know what I'm saying? So okay. it's like you when, you when you're trying to raise them up, like, Again, I didn't have the like I didn't I just I didn't grow up with that. Now I had shout out to my big brothers and my cousins, like you feel me, just right. taking care of me, you know, teach they taught me the game. You know what I'm saying? When I first uh 
I ain't gonna hold you. It's actually funny. I was just in Philly. And I, my uh, my no. my auntie kept a, a booklet of like all my news clippings in high school, Aww. and she had a couple of my little league we pictures, right? Like Bro, she got a picture of uh one of like my third football game ever, and I got in a fight on the middle of the field. Like my my brothers ran That's on the right. field and all that. It was like a team. It was like a <laughs> brawl. I've been I've been fighting in football since the beginning. I need everybody to understand. There y'all have it. It's not y'all. It's them. <laughs> Speed. You know, at that point, I might have just realized I'm the problem. Speed. <laughs> Me, Taylor Swift, I am the problem. If Lil it's Speed me. want to play linebacker, bro, is he playing linebacker, bro? For sure, sure. Come on, mm-hmm. bro. That's, that's what, if he want to play. That's what you say. Well, 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 hold on, wait, wait, hold on, wait, wait. Are you going to raise him as a linebacker? Hold on. That's what I'm asking. Time out, time out. That's what the question is. Before Speed, before you answer. I'm not raising him as a linebacker. Before you answer, though. Wait, wait. Just hold on. Stop, 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 stop. I'm not raising him as a linebacker. He definitely quarterback. Because please understand, Speed... <laughs> really and, and and niggas said go pull the highlights. Speed is a all state wide receiver. He wasn't you was all state? No, I'm all state. I was at oh, quarterback wow. in uh, high school. Quad, but you play wide receiver and quarterback. Yeah. He played, he played receiver, all first, three right? positions, nah, bro. Receiver, he played quarterback. He played all three positions. I would literally go from quarterback and then like it'd be like a little audible joint where I go to receiver. And he's saying that he would let his son play linebacker. <laughs> like hey, go to receiver. That's what I'm saying. Well, That's he what he's saying right now with no son. Yeah. All right, bro. Y'all, hey, bro. Thank you. That's another thing. Because yeah, even like thing. my cousin played for Green Bay, has a Super Bowl. Right. He did not let his son play, didn't play uh, football until he was like <laughs> <Damn>. nine, <laughs> ten. Yeah, yeah. nah. My- she did <laughs> nah. drop that bitch. I know. Sorry. I just. But, <laughs> but, but he was very adamant. Like he was a D lineman. He did not let like. Yeah, my son definitely playing football a little later than me though. Yeah, like I started at like, like five nine. or six. He yeah, not started. I'm like telling you, when like you're not going like, bro, that's like yeah, that little Lee shit did. That's like, bro, I'm saying that's what? like that's yeah, like I'm you not growing up. That's like you hit his head and shit like that. Right. That's like you you child. You grow yeah, up, you make right. money. You feel me? You in a successful career. You have a kid. You're not sending your kid to the same uh, public school that you went to. Yeah, you're no. not sending your, right. your kid. Not like this is what we talked no. about before, bro. You did all that. Hold on, let me fix this thing. My fault. I see you trying to get your legs. Right, go ahead, bro. I, like you, you didn't go through that. You didn't grow up in that environment just to put your kid back in that environment. Literally, if you grow up and yeah. your kid going to the same high school as you, that's a problem. Like, problem. yeah, bro. Like, I'm not saying it's, it's right or wrong because respectfully, I did that with my parents. So I ain't even gonna sit here and play that. Everybody's supposed to make it out the hood. That's not thorough. Everybody got their own situations. But all I'm gonna say is, I just always felt like, uh, like it's our job as the generation of the family. It's our chance with the baton while we, you know, in the achieving years. Okay. We have to just, my only thought is we, like, you did your job. If you moved your kid just a step forward, whatever that step may be. But maybe, you know, when you grew up, uh, it was you and all your cousins in the house and y'all lived together. And it was nine of y'all to a crib and shit. You know, when you grew up, your kid just had their own room. And that was a big deal for them. Mm-hmm. You know yeah, what I mean? Or a big deal bad. for you. Or maybe, you know, like, I don't know how everybody high schools is. And Phillies, they got, in Philly, or at least they used to. I don't know what the fuck it is now. But they had, like, a a, a, a different categories of high schools you go to public school-wise. Like, you had the public schools, like, you know what I'm saying, Northeast, King, you know what I mean, uh, Lincoln, shit like that. Then you had, like, an intermediary school. That's where I went. I went to FLC. You had Bodine. That's where my mama went. And then you had like the super good high schools like Central the and Powerhouse, Ma- Masterman. Schools, and these exactly. are like, you know what I'm saying? They, they send, these are the, the smart, smart ass schools. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Even if you went to uh, King and your, your kid went to, to, to uh, uh, yeah, the, the Central or went to the next level up, you moved it forward. Like, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I just feel like you should just want to see progress within your generation, within your family. And personally, I feel like. That go with football positionless. Now, I don't want to sit here and make it seem like I personally feel like linebacker, Mike linebacker specifically too, is one of the most harder harder positions in the field. I think it's one of the most important. That's obviously because that's what the fuck I do. And obviously (laughs) all of us think what we do in the field is important. That that makes sense, right? That's not like... It should be That's not narcissistic, right? No, it's valid. Everything... You all should be... You think you're the most important person in the organization. You should tell me, right? Yeah, because if you don't, shit, you need a new job. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Um, Yeah, all y'all should think the same. Quarterback is number one. So why not have my young boy aim for number one? Right. Especially because like y'all been in it. So like you you literally know like yeah. what uh, like what position is. Who get the best is... treatment? Like you come to practice, exactly. you got a red jersey on, you not getting hit. Yeah. 
Yeah. Don't touch him. We're not going through this shit. You can run down the field 60 I, I, yards. I, 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 don't don't touch him. Do they understand yeah, that we man. lined up, sprinted, and we was running through them <laughs> double teams, dog? What? I'll do it again, too. I ain't going to cap. That shit was lit. But that shit was lit. we ain't talking about me. We talking about Cairo. <laughs> it was lit. I do miss that shit sometimes. That shit fucked up, man. Y'all are not right in the Run head. down that bitch. That shit, but you don't know what it's like when you cook two niggas on the same play. You I can only imagine the thrill and the rush that y'all get when y'all just run full speed and hit a nigga, but I'm telling y'all, you're not right in the head. But when you know that nigga when I'm fucking with you, yeah. <laughs> you know he don't want to do this today. Yeah. Yeah. And you know he gonna have to see you again. <laughs> That's some sick shit. Damn, so like, Ro, what? Ro can't do that, huh? Ro can't do that. Nah, he, I did, I, look, no ho, Z did that. Dad did that. So yeah. hopefully you ain't gotta go through that, bro. That's right, how it's bro. supposed to be, bro. He gonna right. go to practice untouched. He, look, my thing is, untouched. look, I'm telling you, I didn't want Cairo to play football. I didn't. Like, you know what I mean? But, he grow up, he come to my games, he come to my practices. I'm watching football nonstop. So guess what? He watching football nonstop. It's probably eight. I don't games. even know how many footballs. Are the, y'all see what the fuck we got going on? He pointed on. to he the footballs. Every last one ball. of these jokes so back I, here, I don't babe. even know how many footballs are actually in this house. And I'm about to get another box of them because you know I got to hit the drill. But, you know what I'm saying? So, like, it, 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 we got the little-ass football. That bitch around here somewhere. We got the medium. Jo- so, like, he can't run from it. His jerseys around this bitch. You get what I'm saying? So, he go, he grew up in football, so I dig that. And I understood what that was, but it just wasn't something I was going to push him towards. But I'm definitely positionally going to mold him a certain way. Okay. 100%. That's fair. Let's talk to these motherfucking Pacers, brother. Hey, uh, these Pacers. New, what, the trade? New blood. The Pacers blood. trade. The Pacers in general, bro. Yeah, the Pacers yeah. in general. I like their team, but they got to, I mean, it's just like anything. You got to prove who you are. That's all it is. Yeah. Like when you when, when but you. But they got definitely it. in that stage to where oh, like for they. for sure, for sure. They becoming like one of the least out of here at the OGs. Like uh, Kevin Garnett talk about it and they like, don't nobody want to see the Pacers right now, bro. Like, That's a fact. Just team wise. Hollerberg be on some shit that ain't nobody else like really on. Like, I think he taking it back to like that traditional point guard shit, point which, guard, I, which yeah. I'm fucking with. Od exactly. Like, ain't nobody really been on what he been on. He like. really floor general. I didn't believe yeah. that at first, but now I'm starting to yeah. like really believe it. No disrespect to why I didn't believe it. It's just that like he got a he got an orthodox like crossover and shot sure. that like you know what I mean. I just didn't. It was just new to me. Like he just popped. Like I didn't know that like he was that raw. Like he just popped. I'm for a lot of niggas. I feel like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he man. just like, oh shit! I mean, he doing that shit game in and game well, out. I mean, I heard JJ talk about it. Like, who are the traditional point guards in the NBA no more? He said Chris Paul is the last one. And no, I, think, I think Curry. I think he was leaving. I think he was leaving. Kyrie's no. not a Kyrie's not a point, point guard. For for he's a two he's guard not? for real, bro. A traditional traditional point guard. No, Kyrie did. Jalen Brunson is a tra- traditional point guard. Jalen Brunson is not so. Just to because me you're either. a scorer, you're not a traditional. If you're a scorer no, first, like, I would say you're not a traditional point guard. Okay, so if you're right. a point, if you're a passer who can who is elite scorer, that's different. Like that's why I feel right. like Hollibert is different. Now right. Hollibert is an elite scorer, but he's really like all his 26 point games are followed by 17 assists. So let me so you know what I'm so let me let me make sure that I'm putting putting stock into what I'm saying to you about Jalen Brunson. It was that when Jalen Brunson was playing with Luca, he was a legitimate point guard but he got his bag because that's what the Knicks needed therefore he's able to start scoring more revisionist history when he How? played with Luca literally their offense was uh Luca on his right wing and then Jalen Brunson eventually sometimes on his other wing first of all Luca was the point guard let's start there then what? If, if it was a situation, they would give it to Jalen Brunson, and Jalen Brunson would just run the same. All they do is iso, 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 yeah. either win and score, or you just so tough off the iso, somebody come out that man and find an open man and hit him. That, to me, is not a traditional point guard. You're not going to have Jalen Brunson, to me. Jalen Brunson don't come up, run plays, and really just like play make with the ball in his hands. He don't do that for me. In this day and age of the game, who does that? That's what the conversation is. They're, yeah, they're, they're dying like, not- era of point guards. Chris Paul, he said, but I feel like Hollibur is in that in that mold though. No, he's not. Well, he's not what? He's a good he's a point guard, but he's not a traditional point guard though. What's not he, traditional about him? What do you mean? In terms of like how like he's his a floor general. He's like, not, first he's not assist, wanna, like he's, who's a floor general who's like actually a point guard and brings the ball up. I think where JJ Reddick was actually the point he was really trying to make was that basketball is positionless. And now <laughs> that he what he was saying was that People run uh, their offense through the fours now, through the yeah, guards. Through the fours, through. Yeah, it's not always the the <laughs> smallest person. I mean, on it's the court. seven seven two guys with handles. Are you saying are you are we saying positionless and like, skill are the same thing? 
Positionless and skill? Are the same thing. No, I think positionless is a matter of where the game is going, whereas mm-hmm. though skill is just a matter of who nice enough. Because you can be six, respectfully, you can be six, 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 eight, six, ten, or whatever it is, and still have the archetype or the skill set of a point guard. That yeah. doesn't mean that. Well, the not game really. I don't think, I don't, uh, sometimes guard. I don't think uh, these seven, two guys got like a skill set of a point guard. I think the defense of the, of the NBA is just watered down. To where it's not right. pressuring to where, like, I'm about to really rip you, bro. Like, a lot of food, like, you get you get somebody like, um, what's bro in, in, in San Antonio? Uh, Wimby? Wimby. Wimby, and you put hella pressure on Wimby. Yeah. I don't think Wimby can run a point all well, he's season. Seven, oh, two, no, he no, can't, no way in hell. You he feel what I'm saying? Dribble. The ball the, got to travel too far. That's what, uh, what's the name? But the thing? defense so watered down in the, in the NBA, right. it's just, I want five scores, and let's just make the, let's just have a shootout. Yeah. Feel what I'm yeah. saying? So like guys like you don't have general PJ anymore. Tucker and all that yeah. type stuff is getting watered down because it's like For sure. we don't need defense, bro. I need somebody that can score. But that's why I mentioned him respectfully, I, and I hear your rebuttal. But in terms of like actual play style, not play efficiency, right? Play style. I say that Jalen Brunson is a, uh, a a traditional point guard, but his style that he has to play is of the time right now. You got to come off down off a pin screen. If he not there, shoot it, get it up. But if if you are you're talking about you want Jalen, if we're talking about a point guard and you're saying that you got a certain amount of possessions and you need to score these many points, he is a playoff point guard. He's not like you're just like, oh, I'm going to come down. And like you speed saying like, oh, I'm going to just throw y'all out there and go get crazy. He's not Kyrie. Jalen Brunson ain't Kyrie. I don't think Jalen Brunson just touched the ball every possession. What you mean? And I feel like that's a traditional point. In guard. terms of a point guard? Yeah. He will, you need that. <laughs> nah, you need an ISO guy. You need a nigga that can bring the in ball. In today's down. game. Tell my fuckers, get out the way. I'm about to go at him and score. So you get so you saying you giving Anthony Edwards, Shea Giltris, uh-huh. Shea, Shea? You giving Anthony, Anthony Edwards, Shea, Luca, and uh, Halliburton. Kevin what if, uh just give him the ball and just go. Yeah. Holly Halle Murray. Halle for sure. Holland America showed that you can just give him the ball and be like, all right, y'all get out the way. I give you that. I do love Free where ball. the Pacers are going, though, to Speed's point. Like, I definitely feel like just the foundation. Like, I ain't going to hold you. Like, it's, <sighs> I'm over it. I'm not grieving. I'm reflecting. But I do, I feel like we both just at them, them points uh, in our um, road to glory. For lack of a better term, but shout out to NCAA coming back out. Indeed, uh, where we just you know what I'm saying we're ascending. We just we at the beginning though. Like us having that Houston night game, them being Boston that night at the same day. Oh, like, yeah. That is litty. Yeah, city was up that night. Like yeah, you know what crazy. I mean? It's tough when we both when we both get to the point where we both going to win them Jones. That's when we going crazy. Yeah. But we at that point where we just getting started. Like to be honest, we just getting put in them situations. Like yeah. we, you feel me? So like. I'm messing with the back and forth. I've always, like, to be honest, I've, that's one thing I've always disliked about Indy. I've always felt like uh, it wasn't enough, uh, like, back and forth with, uh, like, the Colts and the Pacers, um, specifically just because we are the only two major uh, sports teams in in town. True. I always felt like, like, just growing up in Philly, I just watched them, like, feed off of each other and play off of each other so much. And it does so much for the city, for both organizations, for the players. Like, it's just a win-win. You just gain so much from y'all being on the same path. But then I just come to realize that neither one of us were actually in a position where we felt like we wanted to be. So it would just be hard for us to ask At the, same the time. team across the street yeah. to support you not feeling like you in a position that you want to be in. Yeah. And I think when we both start going, we're gonna bring the hoods out. Like oh, no hoods. question. And and that's that's the that's the beautiful part of the fans that I love. Like, yeah. yeah. But to, to that speak, inner city for sure. To the inner city fan base, like yeah. they gonna tell the truth. For us. Like yeah. <laughs> yeah. bring y'all trash right now. But yeah. then when you win it, they there. I ain't gonna hold you, my barber, bro. My barber, bro. Shout out to my man Mike, man. He, <laughs> he the one let me know. I'll be like, damn, what they saying about us right now? No, no, niggas uh rocking where you are. Like yeah, what's what's, what's What's your young quarterback name? What's uh? I'm like Anthony. Yeah, yeah, yeah him. Yeah, everybody think he nice. Yeah, you gotta around. get the scoop. You gotta they, get the They, they be stuff. like, you know who people really know. They be yeah. like, they uh, who y'all uh, who y'all got um, uh, what's his name? Uh, 
Pittman, Pittman, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, all right, okay, okay Pittman okay. into the streets. What yeah, they say about okay. me? Okay. Yeah, I'm like, this is it. <laughs> what they say about me? They be saying, y'all, y'all are, y'all on defense, y'all. Right. They just put everybody on defense yeah, with the same joint. Yeah, know, defense, you know. defense, y'all are. Y'all, y'all, yeah, that's y'all all right, that's all right. But you know what, though, bro, to that point, I think that, um, like, in more so, I think in Philly, it's been the thing. And hopefully, like I said, I believe that Indianapolis does um, grasp that. And I think that they are. Is that like, it's that, that, um, how can I make sure I'm saying it right, Z? Like that Phillies, that hockey, that Eagles shit. Like it's, it's working its way like from the top down. Like it ain't just like everybody, like the fans just asking of like, oh, I want us to have a game on the same day. It's like, no, it's understood. Like, hey, bro, when yeah. all of us hit the playoffs, bro, yeah. we going to have this bitch But they, in you. Philly, they got, I ain't going to lie, the Philly got the most unique setup, even though they about to, they about to ruin it. Now. I heard. They I about heard. To move to, they about Shaman's to move to, Green, she gave me that info. Yeah, they about to move the Sixers downtown. The Sixers about to leave the hood. But, like, yeah. the way it's set up in Philly is, I don't know if you, you probably didn't even, people, I definitely talked to you about it. You probably just... Let it go in one ear or the other, <laughs> like all my other Philly history. I'm a <laughs> we, in Philly, we in Philly for three days. I'm just in there, bitch, giving out uh, history Philly facts. And shit. Yeah. Philly facts. I'm playing the radio and shit. <laughs> Niggas getting mad. Facts. Y'all, you know I love Power 99. For shit. sure. So as I get in Philly, I'm like, nah, put the radio on. The bus driver, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, would be right in the middle of the commercials. Niggas, oh, <laughs> see the ruin. Uh, we all the way in practice and shit. They all, you know, niggas like, that's basically me on the auction shit. Yeah. They like, sure. oh, see the, see the ruin the vibes and shit. <laughs> but nah, the way it's set up in Philly is, uh, so you got the Flyers, uh, which the NHL, the Eagles, the Phillies, MLB, and the Sixers, they all share one parking lot. Mm-hmm. So it's like a big ass, like, square. That is dope. Wow. Yeah, and the mm-hmm. thing is, if they all nice, you could get it to a, it, there has been like a couple, especially like in the last like 10 years, it's probably been like five times where all of them have actually played at the same time. So yeah, basically yeah, what would have crazy. to happen that's is wild. the Phillies would have to be in the World Series because they'd be playing in October okay. or in September. So they had to be in the playoffs. The Eagles would have to have a primetime game at night. Okay. Well, you yeah, know, it would have to be, uh, the, uh, the, no, Afternoon. the Phillies would actually have to be in the World Series. So yeah, the Phillies, Phillies in the World, World Series. series the Eagles playing a primetime Afternoon. game because yeah. then the Sixers would be playing because it's October, so basketball starting. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, yeah, and then I think, and I don't know about nothing about NHL. I think they play it sometime. Yeah, they do. They playing they right do. now, though. I don't know what the fuck they got going yeah. on. But the they Flyers. Be out there the sometime. Flyers. Yeah, they be out there, too. Yeah, the Flyers. Uh, but, yeah, and the whole city just be lit. See, that's what happens. He's speed on. Yeah. At that no, one that's time. Just, <laughs> nah, that's dope, bro. It would never happen in Fort Worth is what you're trying to get at. Yeah. Nah, it probably would happen. Nah, before. speed, that's all really crazy. Like, they be like, it, it's a situation Imagine where it's like the Eagles game. No, the tailgate is the disgusting. Eagles game. The Eagles game be first. You see everybody in the Phillies jersey. You at there the Eagles all game. day, and then you slide over to the Phillies game. Do you change your right shirt? after? Mm, no, you keep. I'm saying at the Eagles game, they're wearing their Phillies oh, jersey. Yeah, that's dope. that shit crazy. Nah, that's dope. That's yeah. probably so fun. I that shit fire. I hope, like I said, so hopefully you know, like Indy rave damn near, like. bro. It's be, I swear, bro. So hopefully, I feel like the. The Indy. Have you ever been to a rave? The Colts game go. Hmm? You ever been to a rave? <laughs> Speaking of rave, I'm gonna make my Would first one soon, y'all. Yeah, yeah, we'll go. Shout yeah, out my man, Bram. You know they play like, 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 do, 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 uh, uh, yeah. I was just gonna say like, like, uh, do, do, Jersey Shore music. Yeah. What you do to, uh, like the whole time, like for like, you been to ten rave, hours. Be? That's I have been to a rave. <laughs> <laughs> How was it? At Tarling. <laughs> that shit was horrible. <laughs> I feel like you have to go to the experience. You didn't like the music the or what? And then they'll drop like uh, a Lil John. Turn down for what? And I'm thinking they about no. to drop to me. I swear. Wait, pause. I will literally, bro, is I was in that joint for like three hours and I was like, bro, I will you take was, a so, Lil John. Oh, is it disco music? I mean, is hold it hold disco music? No, it's stuck. You didn't like it, but you was in there for three hours? I, I was with the gang. You know me, I'm a real like. Okay. I'm you ain't like, in the club for three hours. You was having look, a you had yeah, at no, some point. You I was, was having, having a horrible time. time. I was having a horrible time. <laughs> but the person that so I was with, I did I couldn't leave. Like, you feel me? You know how it is when you out, like you don't want to be the guy that like dip from the game, like, damn, where you go last night? So you what you know? just standing on the corner, just standing on the side. I was just walking around wherever they went, I went, bro. He they lying. He was all mm, 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 Were they ruining the your sneakers? I think that's my, my scariest part about the rave. I, I knew, just feel like that's like a phone like party. I started, when I came downstairs ready to go to the rave, I seen other niggas fitting. I'm like, <laughs> that shit look a little tough. Don't worry that's about it. I feel like it. I said, Did y'all used it. to do that don't in college? 
Ah, speed came down. Speed came down. Speed came down. Mary, Mary, oh, Mary, hell star. You, say that. you feel me? All <laughs> that. You feel me? Stay winning. Chain on. Stay with winning. The, uh, with the with the Cardi with the bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he see niggas in uh, with, with beat up uh, <laughs> Air Forces. <laughs> Uh, with gray sweats with Brown already got paint on it, drunk ass white tee, <laughs> bleach stain. I said, don't worry, but I'm going oh. back upstairs. Y'all did And then when I pulled parties? up, so like I had, I had some shit to do. I was meeting them there. So when I pulled up, bro told me, "What's the password?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm, what's the password? Get the fuck the password out my face. was some of that shit. <laughs> like it was like, like black. Black Knight, some like no, it was some Tell me you gotta shit. say no, pause no. after yeah. this, what it's no, It was like no. some weird shit. It was a password <laughs> to the joint, and it's like nah, you can't tell that the rave going on. It's like underground. Yeah, it's like super quiet. So you can't tell that the rave going on, it's just like a little garage or whatever like that. And the guy outside, it's not a full security staff with a wand, anything like that. Like, it's let me giving catch you like high school. Ooh, it's nothing like that. Black. It's like you pull up, and like I didn't have a password. So I look stupid outside. So I'm calling, bruh. <laughs> Bro, in the rave already. Like, he already woo woo. So I'm calling. I'm like, damn, bro, I ain't answer. So I go sit in the car for a little bit till he called me back. I'm calling woo woo. He called me, he tell me the password. I'm like, I bet. I felt so. See, hold up, Speed. You walked up to the front. Yeah, bro. They said, what's the password? You said, what? They said, get your ass back in the Bye. car. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like the password. I'm pulling out my bread. Like, what is it? Speed on to the get phone. In? What's the I'm password? Like, it's, 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 it's a real password. It's a real password. What it is at the door. So he told me the password. I pull up. I tell him the password. I walk in. It's boom, 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 Wait, 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 wait. See, me off the rip, I'm like. Tonight, I'm going to try to vibe with this shit. Okay. I, I, I fuck with that, is. though. I like it that. Like, it sometimes you got to just buy into the situation. So when I pull up and I'm seeing motherfuckers, like, they like, yeah. going around. Yeah. I'm like, this shit. nah, these motherfuckers on drugs, drugs. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? That's be that LSD like, type of party. Yeah, I'm you like, nah. You probably that bitch rolling, though. You probably that I'm bitch. like, nah. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, not, that's what they are. I'm like, yeah, that's hey, not my style. Yo, you ain't like, that bitch. He said, yeah, that's my style. That's not my that style. Shit, that's that's but let me go find gang. Let me go find gang. You feel me? I know they going to tee me up. She find some drinks in this mug. You feel what I'm saying? Let's get lit. I go, I find I'm gang. I'm on the pursuit I find of happiness hey, and I know. They partying. After a while, bro. And the whole time, I got my mans with me from back home. Oh, shit. Oh, for work. That's so, the worst. This is like my rookie year. So I'm like, I got my mans with me from back home. And we going into this joint. I didn't brought, bro, to, uh, to, to the city we was in or whatever like that. And we in this raid, bro. When I tell you, this was the most horrible shit I ever been to. <laughs> I'm talking about doom. Get out my doom, face. Doom. For like two, three hours. And then the little, the little John joint dropped, like, turn down for what? And I'm thinking they about to drop the. Yeah, I'm no. thinking he about to get a whole verse in. Mm -hmm. All it was was turn down for what? Then another two hours. <laughs> doom, 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 doom. I'm like, yo. That's a my gangster. head start hurting. Bro. That's gangster. That's a no, gangster. No, I, 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 I can't let you do that because that only thing I'm going to say is they got a couple of uh, hits within that. They'll be like, I just said hello. Hey, yeah, hey, they do that too. Hey. <laughs> you you hey, may sit and then they change that hey, shit. Hey. Hello. Hey. Niggas hey. was out there oh, on what's castle. My joint? What's my joint? I ain't gonna lie, look. So I had a couple squat day like songs. If it's squat day in high school, I, this song gotta drop. That joint is, oh, sometimes I, I get, get a feeling. feeling. Yeah. That's my shit. I get a feeling that. Never, 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 never have it for a Yeah, time. that's that joke. Yeah. You was squatting for that? Oh. Like that was my day? <laughs> why, you, why you doing that? I went to private school, bro. Oh, I thought you were saying Syracuse. <laughs> nah, QC was, nah, was okay, still okay, running. Okay, you thought I was in Syracuse? Syracuse doing that? It's hoes around. I mean, I didn't even know when that shit dropped. I'm Speed, don't let him cap you. The, 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 the track Speed, team I walked through. No, don't please. let him cap you, bro. That was still Pause. a runner while we Let's not throw the track team under the bus like that. Speed, how niggas used to act in the weight room when the track team was just going for weigh-ins It could have been the basketball girls, niggas just, get to do a, <laughs> niggas just get to do niggas a pull-up for no reason. Niggas ain't never put 415 on the ball. With some chains and shit. With some chains and shit. We used to walk by like... We got more natties than y'all. Oh, wow. Damn, you was flexing on them folks? See, she was the type. Nah, you I wasn't need. even that on the natty corny, team, though, but right? I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, I was that, there. That's tough. We, yeah, I was we supporting y'all, miss. No. That's cool. You no, competing football, with us? Y'all used to be dragging that shit a little, little, just a little bit. Football team. Oh, you had right? some hating football right. players in there, huh? That's tough. That's corny. That's tough. I'm saying, motherfuckers. Could y'all play curse words in the weight room? Uh, I had two different coaches, so it was different energies, but the... Better coach used to let us play me curse words, yeah. yeah we had an old school guy. He did. Shout out Coach Cole. He Man, was a real. 
Man, shout that out. That nigga, it's gone. He gone now. Fuck. Go ahead. Babies. Babies just be on some shit. Yeah. Wait, Speed, how many coaches do you have at Talton? One. One? One. Oh, I ain't know. There. He I ain't know. Him. I ain't know. I ain't know. That's some hate, bro. Don't do that. But no, nah, track team get the walking by. Niggas get the, yo, y'all trying to do core yeah, right yeah. here? Start showing off the ads. <laughs> y'all niggas nasty. But see, you know core what? Abs, right? Okay, wait. <laughs> And so at Syracuse, did y'all and like at Tarlington, would like the track team? So what's that like? It's our preseason. Y'all like in season. Y'all on the field. Yeah. Track team running around the track. Or no? Nah, nah that was no uh, spring outside. football. Oh, oh, duh, spring ball. Spring football is when the track would be running around the track while we doing like spring yeah. football or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I think the coaches used to be worse than the players. He like, lying, bro. Think about it. Hell yeah, Jada, he lying, bro. Because so our what we would be separate. We would let like bro. football is football season. We we would have a whole grass track. We wouldn't even touch the. But track used to like so track used to work out at like eight in the morning or something like that. Jada, yeah, they used to be early. Ainsley ain't got nothing but Smith machines. Okay, and a track. For and a football field for them niggas to work out and the track team to work out. Oh, they the would be time? with each bro. This, this same thing he know my life. Watch, go ahead, let me finish. Go ahead, they would finish. be in the same, bro. Y'all wouldn't be in the same facility. Y'all have the same facilities, bro. Let me know when I can talk. All right, bet. Thank you. They would have the same facilities. So what, when the track team would be running, they're at practice. I'm a well, stop. it was the same. Like, it would depend before, on the season. Wait, wait, so, wait, like, wait, wait. Hold on, Jada. Hold on, Jada. Hold up. Let me make sure I'm saying this right. Before. Thank you. Before uh, Manly, yes. In Manly, in Manly my Fieldhouse. Life. He my life. Before he they there. made Insley. He was there. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Jada, before they made Insley. But we was the whole in there. Hey, I'm oh, talking damn. to Jada. I'm talking to Jada. I'm talking to Jada. Because you sat there, look. He, he, he tried to sit there like a we church We was mouse. outside. He tried to sit there like a church outside. mouse. Jada, he, we was nah, outside. That's we why. wasn't even on there like that. Nah, Y'all was it. in the same fucking spot, bro. Nah, nah. nah. We, we can't even count. <laughs> we can't even count the same spot, bro. Hey, and then look, look, look. The person that I really want to comment, though, he know who I'm talking to. To number 75. Go ahead. Cause I know you're gonna cap. Go like ahead, the kick it out there. He was off his line. That's my man. Uh, that's, crazy. That's, 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 that's hate. That's, yeah, that's, that's my guy. Sorry, I'm hating. You just lost a fan. He's a fan too. Yeah, yeah, he a, he a fan I'm of you. Sorry. Yeah, he was fan. I'm yeah, he was fan. Sorry. Uh, I don't like your number. No, nah, yo, so basically, yeah, the only thing I would say is, first of all, I'm speeding on me. When I'm in practice, I'm too locked in. But that's also a fact. The only thing is, so like the way Syracuse was set up, you had like our locker room and then a walk to like the student center. You had to walk through like uh, it's like a, we have two indoor facilities. One of them is like older, like kind of historic. That's where the track is. The new one is built just for football. That's what you're talking about. So you had to walk from our locker room through the older one to get to the student center. Oh. So like if you walk in, you might be you know what I'm saying you on some cool shit. You walking through there, the track team might be doing what they doing. They might be in the hallway. You feel me? That's and but that's also oh. where their locker rooms is at too. So that's when you was liable to like bumping in them or see them and or something like that. And track team ain't never got no hey, clothes Jada. on. Yeah, hey, Jada. ever or in, or in Stevenson or in the student center. You know that's really where it all always go down at because we everybody got to be over there <laughs> for one reason or another. You can be a good student or not. Everybody at some point gonna be over there. So, hey, yeah. Jada. Hey, look. I'm, I I I ain't, I ain't going crazy on it, but understand though that walk he talking about not no brisk walk though. Like it's a little trek, bro. It's a, it's a walk. It's, it's a, a trek. Walk. I ain't like so you. Like, yeah. So you got time. Like you could be late. You feel you, know, you could be late to the to the to the to your appointment. Like leaving the <laughs> locker room, trying to walk, thinking, oh damn, I got three minutes. Nah, that bitch a little and yeah, a and a nutrition a brisk look walk and a nutrition be. center right there. Everybody's coming to get they. Get their uh, shakes. Nah, the nutrition. And we had our own cafeteria. So if you're going over there, you really be a nasty. <laughs> we got our own cafeteria. What so you doing you over here? To the, to the, to the, to the D, the, the, uh, what's that? What's that? Uh, Title Nine? What's that shit called? Yeah, Title uh, Nine. Yeah, Title yeah, like Nine. Compliance yeah, office. If you go into yeah, the drone right where like all the non all the Olympic athletes uh, get their meals from, yeah, you're you disgusting. Because you, <laughs> your car still calm, work nigga. over there. Your car still work over there, but bro, and they be looking at you mad as shit because you didn't took uh, two uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Amazing. And they know you got a uh, fucking buffalo chicken dip. <laughs> <laughs> over there. In the over your what side. What are you doing over here? So we ain't even shit. got good Take shit it. over here. Yeah, what you doing? Taking the heat in. They got uh, walnuts. The warm peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> Big Karen over your head. You that didn't took crazy. the last uh, Gatorade, blue These Gatorade. These football players. <laughs> you know what I mean? Going crazy. Going crazy though. Uh, they used to hate the, that. That was like the uh, the badminton team, or not the field hockey team. They was always. Hang on, they hated the football team because we yeah, was the only. Hate, hate the hey, no facts. Full, full Y'all full niggas come eating they all the, the football food. Team, bro. Full Why do scholarship. Hate niggas the not going to class. They love full bringing rise. that up to you like you. It's your fault they paying for college. <laughs> I didn't make you pay. Why right. you mad no, at me? No, that's valid. Like. 
Talk Who's to you. You should have been athletic, rides. Playboy. I can't help you. Oh, Ooh. she full scout. Oh, full. Yeah, be on this joint. Yeah, her shit. No, oh, I was man. just saying. No, I'm speaking as a Jeez. football player. That's no, what y'all I mean, was saying. Oh, like, oh, it was me. It was me. You was a scholarship yeah. athlete. Respect. Nah, if, there's too much football hate within the universities, though. I don't think we it ever deserve. But y'all do be eating all the food, though, because we used to try to run after practice. No, okay. I used to be hungry after track practice. Okay, that's with fair. my 120 pounds. Right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I knew you said right, act Jada the was. Syracuse with a chase. I'm hungry as hell. With a what? With a chase come out. <laughs> <laughs> Just like how you acting right now. Big new game. tats. Look at him. Look at him. Look at his feet. Hey, new every, tats. Every time. Take him over. Hey, everybody. Hey, just like you. New tats. Tom Stamby. Tom Stamby. Hey, can we get to the Paloozas? The what? Hey, speed. All right, so there's a huge. There was a huge controversy. Shit. Hey. It was so it was a it was a huge controversy uh on Syracuse football when I was there. Okay. So basically Party Pooper. We wasn't shit. Party a couple pooper. Times, Party Pooper. Pretty much most of the time. So we we not shit. We not winning. <laughs> and it's a conglomerate of guys on our team <laughs> that was throwing parties every Thursday on our in in in, in, in uh in the and UV, zone. yeah, and you really giving shit up, but because I stayed there, you QV, lining, you lining it, you lining it up, QV, but I ain't room seven twenty five, yo, chill, yeah, but and they called it Hitty Palooza, okay, Steve, okay, <laughs> it's time, no, he, hey, oh, you no. acting oh, bad, Steve, Steve acting greasy, who is oh, this man? man? You going crazy? I don't know, he acting greasy, bro. Now I got it. Now I got to play the joint for my man though. Oh, Jada, crazy, Jada, bro. please understand though, like. Where we was at was like, imagine, I mean, and obviously I know you I cannot you know wait to go to Syracuse's campus so I can go walk. So you can see? Yeah. yeah. Now you got to gotta hit, you gotta hit south. To the Palooza. Yeah, you got to go right to south. Hit south. That's all you got to do is say, like, where south campus at? That's all you got to do. That's how it was the Thursday at Syracuse? Yeah, that's how y'all was. I'm trying to yeah, let the Palooza. Not him. <laughs> not him. Look, game, though. Jada, hold on. Let me speak, let me speak, let me speak more to the Palooza. Because he, with respect, this is the captain. You even talking to the captain right here. But I ain't, God damn it. So, so you was in there. You got damn right. That's crazy. I never knew that. Hell yeah. I never knew that. That's it was crazy. a cross, bro. It was across the street from our house, from our, from our, what we stayed. I couldn't help but, Jada, look, look, look. So look, this is what I'm explaining to you. Like, imagine when you move in, and I'm, I'm pretty sure you and Speed understand this for sure. When you on campus, when you first get there, you in, you in big uh, uh, dorm vibes. One room. Apartment, you right. know what I'm saying? One room Sharing shit. Sharing the bathroom with Exactly, the all that shit. The place that we talking about is very much apartment. Like, I got my room, my own bathroom, yeah. vice versa, whatever it is. Athlete, but yes. at Q's and UV, bro, the living room was, you could throw, you can host, real talk, you can put between 90 to 100 people in your living room. The hell kind nah, of No, 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 no. We was going, it was, it, was, it was that, it was that. So what niggas did was, was said, fuck it, we just going to throw a shit called Henny Palooza. Mm -hmm. Now, mind you, I did not know that it was these niggas. Going back to your point, Speed, on like niggas getting their checks. Yeah. Henny Palooza was the... Football team. Yes, sir. <laughs> the niggas was going crazy. Yeah. And that's, I ain't going to hold you. I love you. That shit was lit. There was a vibe every Thursday. Well, I'm going to just let you know my coach found out. Ooh. And? No. <laughs> yeah. He found out that your, your teammates was the ones on. Yeah, so yeah. We had a Friday night game. It was a big game. We had so we had a Friday night game against Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech was ranked like number 15th 13th. in the country. 13th. Or something like that. Why that boy grow calling me? Big Grove. Big Grove. Tell him pull up to the Hey man, Jay, you know Big Grove for checking in on the pod. Hey! hey! Shout out that boy Grove, man. Yeah, that boy Grove checking in live. What up, my boy? Shout out that man. Where that BG chain? What's good with you, man? Hey, just want to call and check in on the podcast, man. Not too much. You feel me? Oh, hey, for man. sure, for sure. Hey, Big Grove, when you gonna pull up? They on the asking podcast? for you. We, hey, look, I've been trying to get on your schedule. <laughs> yeah, man, you got, now that you got some time on your hands, player. Hey, all that free time, you ain't hit me up yet. Say no, look, 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 I'm going to call you, my brother. Uh, yes, sir. All right, Grove. Ooh, shout out that boy, Grove. That's tough. That's tough. That's shout tough. out that boy, That's Grove. Tough. He's That's a member. He's a member. He's a member. For sure. Yeah, my coach found out. Yeah, Ooh. Coach did no, I, I didn't know. I, I, I'm so clueless. I ain't know. Like, you feel me? Like, oh, so you was like, huh, for real? And he was like. Well, I ain't going to hold you. It was. I'm going to be honest. Let the cat out of the bag. I'm going to keep it G. Yeah. In college, I'm not going to say, now, just let me start here. Let me give a disclaimer. I'm from North Philly. I ain't never going, I'm never no tattletale. I ain't never none of that. But 
I was a little bit of the fun police. Like, Speed and no, because Speed, what Speed know is, he know reformed me, so I've calmed down. But Speed know when niggas start doing shit that, like, I'm like, bro, like, I'll get to go. But I, I'm the type, I don't go to, I'll go to them and be like, yo, bro, like, we try and win and shit. You feel me? Then it just, it become something else. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, niggas be like, damn, nigga, can we have fun? I just have come to learn and understand that everybody get ready for a game, prepare for the game, celebrate game, celebrate losses, however the fuck, differently to me. I don't want a team full of me's. I've realized that from situations. But let me just say this. If I found out, I would have came and ended the party. Like I would have pulled up to the party and like, nah, we ain't doing this shit. It was a night before, like night before a game. Yeah, that's so they threw a big ass any palooza. One of my teammates actually read it, which was actually a crazy ass situation. You're still a snitch. They was about to beat him the fuck up. Like he texted me (laughs) in the hotel. Like you know, we had to go to. So this was two nights because the night before the game, we in the hotel. He texted me like, "Yo, they in my room." Like I pull up and shit. I'm talking about it's a bunch. You ever seen that? uh, Ever seen that meme? Is the white lady like she on the she and that bitch like head to the side like like <laughs> looking at whoever like about I think she she talk about it's like fifteen niggas looking at Broski like yo like they so, came to his world. yeah so like what we doing like they about to roll on I I'm like nah y'all can't. <laughs> I can't I can't let y'all I can't let y'all do that do I'd be like man do your thirty nigga yeah. I can't I can't Get let that do them, bro yeah. Pick somebody, man. Yeah, they was about to, they was about to beat bro the fuck up. They probably, speed. they probably Tell still, they probably still owe him an ass whooping now. If we really keep it, they, they probably still do. don't fuck with dog. Jada, <laughs> as a caveat, they won the game. Can I get there? My head coach basically said. Jada. My head coach. Look, look, let me say this. Let me say this. See, he skipped to the end. That's not thorough. That's not thorough. Bro. Look, look, let me say this. My head coach found out before the game. He said, "Y'all better win this game or else." Niggas winning. Niggas okay. win. Bad. 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 Yeah, we week. upset them boys. It was like our first winner versus a ranked opponent oh, in like 15 yes. years. It was like yes. one of this yeah. type. Yes. Or ESPN too. It was lit. Coach I had, talking about Henny Palooza every week. You know, I got player of the week and shit. You know I put on. But you know, that's just regular <laughs> shit. Like, oh, you feel me? That's just regular stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ain't what you expect. Hey, Speed, yeah, hold on. Wait. Speed, y'all had a crazy, y'all had a crazy week at Taunton? Nah, we was locked in at that. Oh, uh, see? Winning Speed. program. He's from a winning program. We was locked in, dog. Come on, bro. Bro, break. Winning Hold program. On. We bro, definitely speed. used to turn Come up on, before. Bro. And there was a few niggas that used to do their thing. But yeah. me, I was a real, like, straight line walker. Especially, when the, the, okay. like, the day, a couple of days before what the game. It's just on? like, come on, Because I used to be lit as hell the day before track, track me. Track Boy. Track yeah. And if I wasn't, I wasn't going to run good. Y'all, y'all, on them, y'all on them trips getting scandalous. We know how track it is. We know how track it is. She fine. No, no, Y'all mixy over there. Don't do that. Y'all mixy over there. My boyfriend was on the team. I was very straight. Okay. Okay. Shout you know the, the track team, you, they all date each Shout other. Shout out to the old boo. all be together. Hey, real quick though, since we since we standing on college, man, what, what's, how y'all feeling about the change of the guard for Alabama, bro? Mm. How y'all feeling about that? First of all, shout out Nick Saban. Shout out Saban. The greatest. Mm. The greatest, greatest college coach that I've had to live and see. And no, you, you know what you I mean? Gotta do all I that. damn he near felt like I was he a might part be the of it. Yeah, over that. Greatest. But okay. I damn near felt like I was a part of Alabama just because I was a winner. Yeah. Mm. Everybody felt like that. Yeah, like yeah. when you see Alabama, you felt like you dating there was a part of Alabama. And from what I've known from Tony Brown to to Ronnie to all the Alabama guys, R. Kelly to all the all the Ryan Kelly, I ain't gonna call it. I was Kelly. gonna say R. Kelly. But Ryan. yeah, <laughs> but to all the guys, <laughs> all the guys that's played for Bama, like it's stamped. Mm. Like they love the sh- fact that they, they from saying? Bama. I don't they give proud a piss about anything but the time. They proud of it. You feel what I'm it's saying? It's definitely a strike. It's and a badge on your jacket. And bro. I ain't gonna hold. If it wasn't Tarleton, is definitely I'm grateful for Tarleton and all that type of stuff. But if I wasn't at Tarleton, because Tarleton is better than Bama. But if I wasn't Tarleton, I would definitely want to be a part of Bama. 
Mm. Did you just say Tarleton better than Ben? I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm not I, even going to get into that. I'm, saying I'm not just, even going to get into that. For me, for me. That was just a wild thing for you to say. And I, I'm not going to let Bama. you use your platform. And if they want to step up on you, feel what I'm saying? Especially when I was there, if they wanted to step up. Stop, hey, stop, speed, stop. You ain't got to do that. You ain't got to do it. You ain't got to do it. Speed, you ain't got to do it. Speed, you ain't got to do it. Tell them about your billboard. Tell them about the billboard. You ain't got to do that. You ain't got to do it. It's good. It's good. But I definitely got a profound respect from Alabama. And I love, and it's so strong that like all my Alabama teammates, I just talk mad shit about, you know what I mean? The he said talk shit yeah, about the because, just because I know that, like, you was they raised got some right. shit to bark it's like back. You, you, you was raised right. Yeah, you exactly. in the Bama. Yeah. You know, I know you know what a winning culture, exactly. with winning ways. You know how to practice. You know that damn play, you know Yeah, you know expectations. You know yeah. all that shit. I just know. This yeah, you a yeah. Bama. So I ain't never, I ain't never, like, from players that came from Bama, when it come to this football shit, all of them been about their business. Mm. All of them been about their business. All of them... It's competitive. Yeah, I can't always give you that. I, I would I just say, I would just I say some, sometimes being part, like, <laughs> I think you got culture setters, and then you got people who just kind of go with the flow. So, like, there's a couple people uh, who have more influence on the culture of the team, and that goes sometimes, it, does, it's not, it doesn't always translate with who is uh, the best players either. Like, most of the time, it's just certain people just based off of personality, how they carry themselves, whatever may be the, the case. People kind of follow them. They 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 pick up the habits that they have, mm-hmm. and they think certain shit is cool. You know, it's a group of people that's gonna think that's cool. So like, I feel like you got Bama always had the right culture setters, and I always felt like that started from top down. Um, so definitely much respect to Nick Saban, the culture, the program, everything that he's ever built. Mm-hmm. Like I say, in my opinion, he's undisputed the greatest. But that's just I live in that generation. If you the best of my generation, guess what? You the best of all time. So why now? But mm, that's what, what I, I want niggas to get into. What I really want to talk about is just like you said, that culture though, bro. Like, because yeah. to back to Syracuse, bro, bro, I, we just didn't have a, a winning culture when I was there, bro. Like shit I that didn't. winning teams do and did bad, when I was there, like it just we we had losing <laughs> habits. I feel bad for you. Mm. Hey, it was what I ain't gonna lie. That's how it was for us in college. Like yes, it was college. we had just a winning mindset. Like our coach was an Olympian. So mm. it was just like this is the mm. standard shit. My athletic director was a motherfucker. Like Lion Reese, man, he was a he was a winner. So do you feel like Bama was, was like, like that Saban. because of the just the this the tone that Nick Saban set and that shit just went straight down from him? Definitely, I think he created like a culture that like yeah. that 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 a lot of guys that was about their business could stand on, and a lot of guys that came from high school that was serious guys and they came into that program. They was looking at it just like, all right, I'm already this. I need somebody to take me to this. And they respected the fact that Nick Saban can take them to that. You feel what I'm saying? And Nick Saban did. You know what I'm saying? But, well, he had I more like first round picks than loss. than just their football program shit. You know what I'm saying? But so, I think- and then he had a perfect situation for it. It's like they in the middle of uh, uh, Tuscaloosa. Mm-hmm. Like, you feel what I'm saying? This ain't Miami. This ain't, you know what I mean? True. It's but Tuscaloosa. Like, that being said, I feel like, you know, you go, you know how it is. I feel like, just as way it's hard when you put in, you know, a bunch of guys, you know, from, you know, different place uh, and, you know, uh, an environment that's got a lot going on, like uh, Miami, like mm-hmm. uh, Atlanta or Houston or something Vegas, like that. Yeah. It can be just as dangerous when you put them in a town like Tuscaloosa when there's nothing going on and they get bored get and they get into a whole bunch of dumbass shit. Think, yeah, but just because they ain't got nothing else to do for real, for real. But now, they, you can't stop them from having yeah. downtime. But now Nick Saban then built a, a, a championship culture that, like, this is the downtime. Mm-hmm. Like, our downtime is make sure we win a championship. It's not necessarily school. It's not necessarily, you know what I mean? Even though that's part of winning a championship, like making sure you're eligible or whatever like that and, you know, being a part of, like, something greater than yourself. And that's just what it was. All those guys felt like they wasn't bigger than a program because you had Julio, you had you had uh, Derrick Henry. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? These guys that's like elite Mark guys Ingram. in the NFL. Like, you know what I mean? Not Diggs. Uh, Trayvon. Trayvon went there. Yeah. Trayvon. Trayvon went there. But I'm talking like, about... Like, you feel what I'm saying? Uh, uh, wide, Minka. Wide so now you got a whole bunch of guys Devontae, that's these elite talents. Like NFL pipeline. You got a whole bunch of guys that's these elite talents that's like, I ain't even better than the, than the, than the, than the coach. Yeah. But to Speed's point, though, like, obviously, just being an onlooker of that and then, like, seeing what it was that Saban had done, I think that, to, again, like I said, it, putting that point that Speed made, like, at the top of it, it's just, like, when you go to Alabama, you understood that um, no matter, if it makes sense, like, no matter what 
Saban's routine was, it was foolproof. Yeah, like it was. It was like it was, it was just there. Yeah, like it was no. It was nothing else. Like it was either because I'm. I'm just thinking in my mind. It was either Bama was either winning a championship or you were going to the NFL. Yeah. So right. either way it happened, either it, no matter what the fuck went on, you believed it. I was gonna go. I was going to do the two. Just buy into the yeah, system. I had to do and one then, of the two things. Not only did the players wasn't greater than Nick Saban, so they had somebody to look up to as a coach. Like, I'm no better than the coach, or I'm no better than the program. Mm -hmm. Nick Saban looked at it as like, Belichick was his mentor, and I'm damn sure, like, I'm no bigger than Belichick. Mm -hmm. That's what you I was going to say. Saying? Who is that in that? So, NFL? like, I feel like Alabama taught us that it's actually a lot of growth in something being bigger than you mm -hmm. and always working towards something higher. Like, you heard, you heard, like, Alabama players have the receiver talk, but it's like, who the best receiver to come? Some of them be like, man, it was Calvin Ridley. Then some of them be like, hell no, Julio. hands down, it was Julio. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Some, you got to give respect to Smitty. He went to Heisman. Exactly. Then you got to give respect to Smitty. And then yeah. they go to the running backs, and they like, oh, Ooh, such a thing. It was Derrick. Oh, Scarborough had a run, too. We ain't going to do that. Eddie Lacy yeah. had a run, too, now. Yes. We ain't going to do that. So you feel what I'm saying? It's Brian so Lover, crazy. Tony the but you know what I don't understand <laughs> is what's wild is how come. Okay, Take a so shot at Tony Bigger the Packers. You think about college, like the dynasty, like the Saban had, like, how come that doesn't translate? Does that translate to the league? Well, it, the league. I, well, it's, it's I, let, me, let me let me let me say this too, just to finish up with this Bama point or this college point. I think Nick Saban just, and now that I've like played for multiple head coaches, I, now I'm starting to understand the importance of a head coach, like how important that is to a program's direction and how important that is to the culture of your team. And like honestly, when you're in college. I didn't think of it this way when I was in college, but the most important person to commit to is the head coach. Exactly. Bro. Because he dictating all the other shit going around. No matter how thorough your position coach is, uh, strength and conditioning, coordinator, academic advisor, oh, if that head coach ain't carrying it thorough, you in for some bullshit. Yeah. Oh, but if he is and he moving the right way, hey, look, you just going to have to abide by his rules, stay in them graces. But I would just say, why it doesn't translate in NFL? Again, um, I think you have culture setters, and then you got people who just kind of follow the culture that's around them. Bama culture is so strong, and I think Saban did a great job of creating leaders. Like, I feel like most coaches and most programs take advantage of the leaders that come through, and that's why they have to ride the wave and their cultures change so much because – Leader, it's a lot of leaders, and they lead in different ways, mm -hmm. and they have different, you know, uh, motivations and stuff like that. Saban did a great job. All right, I'm going to take Minka from Jersey, and he's a, a great player and a strong personality and a great leader, and I'm going to mold him and help promote that to being something that's dynamic and that's going to transcend all the guys from Texas, all the guys from Cali, all these guys from Alabama, mm -hmm. and he's going to be able to really lead in these different ways. A lot of people don't do that. and I, But I feel like, to, to your point, um, just to finish up, you know, even though they had great players, everybody, all those great players, personality-wise, wasn't as strong as a Minka, as a who I'm thinking of. Uh, I mean, honestly, I think I, I know he is more so with his play, but probably like Derrick Henry or you know, what I mean, those other guys that come from that. And you just come, you just in a situation where the culture is just so set. So you go in the league, and the culture might be some bullshit. You still gonna be nice. That don't mm -hmm. mean you're not nice. But mm -hmm. now y'all don't practice hard. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Now y'all don't. Uh, now y'all don't, you feel me? Y'all Now y'all go out the night before And game. the best head coaches, the, night the best head coaches I played for, like, shout out to Ty Whitten. Like, that's, that was the best coach of my career. Not saying that, like, any other coach. Not discrediting any coach. Just yeah, from college. the best coach you ever played for? Nigga, niggas. when I tell you, <laughs> Coach Whitten, he didn't talk until it meant something. Mm -hmm. Like, when Coach Whitten talked to you, it wasn't just to shoot the shit with you. It wasn't just, even to this day, he won't call my phone just to shoot the shit to me. When he called my phone, he called my phone about something serious. Like, yeah. hey, man, the game that you played or whatever like that is this meant that or that. Yeah. It meant something that was great for your career. Keep yeah. going. He won't call me for another year. Yeah. Like, you feel what I'm saying? And I respected that fact. Like, I remember I had one yeah. practice. I had one practice. Coach Whitten, he the offensive coordinator. I got my DC or whatever like that. I'm in that joint. And I'm and I'm 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 talking stupid trash this practice. Yeah. I, I didn't book them boys, all type of stuff. I'm talking trash to my quarterback and all that type of stuff. And then like, you know, one day he was just like, EJ, you know what? Be quiet. <laughs> and it <laughs> hit me because when they never told me to be quiet, like, da -da -da. like but he mad because the offense wasn't performing. He's trying to get something off to the offense, oh, but I keep talking. Yeah. Like you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's just to a point to where it's like, you know. 
that was a respect because he always let me pop my shit no matter what it was in the game and anything because he knew I was a smart enough player to not get a flag or whatever like that or put the team in a hindered situation. Right. But he know that's how I got going. But then when it was time for me to be quiet, it was just like, EJ, be quiet. But I respected it. Mm. And since that's when I knew I had respect yeah. for him because there was a lot of coaches in my, when I was younger, there was a lot of coaches who couldn't tell me shit. Like, yeah. Nigga, what? Be quiet, boy. <laughs> what? And Tarleton? You know why? EJ was like, ignorant as hell. Like, with me. Like, ooh, ooh. But then when it was sure. Whitney, it was just like, be quiet. This motherfucker had a uh, got but it was accent cool. now, yeah. motherfucker. But I think. What you think? He's had a like to... sophomore year at Tarleton. <laughs> and he nice. Man, I'm lying to Boy, how about you? He probably, probably ain't catching that. I'm lying to him. I'm lying to him. Crazy shit. Like, be like, but what did he say? Did you hear But I think. Oh, so go ahead. Go ahead. But that was his type. That was his type of leadership style. It was just like, as a head coach. So, like, you know. Game for all the head coaches. Stop talking when it ain't time for you. To, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Chiefs is Chiefs and Indians. Indians like, let, be I a think, chief. but I, I also to like again speak to your to your head coach's point, but then also to 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 saving as well as moving forward to like Belichick. I think that which I think is so unique that I think a lot of people like don't talk about in terms of like head coaches is that when head coaches like that, like you're talking about speed, like I said, him with Belichick and then also too with um uh, with Saban, the respect factor that they have, the men that the young men that are following them, they understand when they pick a leader, they follow that one. Yeah. You feel me? Like it's not like we're waiting for that guy to like emerge. Like, I, like Z saying, like, we're not waiting for the guy to emerge. We're waiting for you to pick. And once you pick, or once we do what we're supposed, once we get through like the 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 grueling, you know, the trials and tribulations of a of a summer, of a workout and things of that nature, and Saban's like, you know what, this is the guy. It's like, that's him. Bet, let's go. We gonna get behind him 100. percent Like this yeah. is the guy we rolling with. And I think that that type of like you're saying, like that type of um, coaching, that type of of, of buy in that you have from a fan base, from an organization, from whomever it is. It exudes like confidence. It exudes winning, right? You can win behind that because you're trusting the decisions that this man is making about who these people are following. Yeah. And then it's not. It then, like you said, it's be like then it's not about. It's not about again. Speak to what you said. Like it's not about um, stats. It becomes selfless. Yeah. It's like oh, we bind into this team. We got our leader mm -hmm. because Saban picked our leader. Yeah. Like, this is the guy that we got. And I with. actually agree with that. I think, I do think the head coaches should pick the captains of a football team. Yeah. And I like to say, because there's so many caveats to. You don't think it uh, should be voted on? Like, it should be chosen it, by the players? No, nah, I don't think it should be It should be, It should should be. be chosen by the players. I think the leadership council, council should be chosen by the players. And then the captain should be chosen by the coach. Because as a coach, he needs to pick what player he feel like fits his mold. Mm. Mm. Because it's a disconnect between coaches and players. All the coaches need to get together and be like, look, who fits your mold for what you want to do? And they need to genuinely be like, this guy, this guy, this guy. Because now everything that I'm putting into, into my players and everything like that, I feel like this player does the same. Not saying, like, you know what I mean? It's, it's just a way to connect with the coach. I agree. But when I pick it for the players, it's like, okay, these are – this is this category of player, this category of player, this category of player picking this person, this person, this person. And now it's just dividing. And maybe my coach doesn't, like the defensive coordinator or the offensive coordinator or the head coach doesn't think that this guy is, but hey, the coaches picked him. But in the younger guy's eyes that's not invested or veteran in the league, they look at it as like, oh, he's preaching it. This it. This is so it. So now it's a conflict. Like, all right, he – the head coach speaking this, but this guy speaking this, which one do I follow? You uh, know what I'm saying? I, would, I, would, I agree with you 100% um, on uh, multiple things. And I feel like that's why I feel like uh, the head coach is the most important position in an organization because what I've come to learn, and, and to be honest with you, like being in Syracuse, I always say a lot like, being in Syracuse taught me more about leadership than any other level of, of sports than I've ever been in. Just because, to be honest, the culture was not great. It was so bad, and we lost so much. So true. it was like 
it taught me how to be a leader in like almost like the yeah, worst yeah. situation. Mm -hmm. So like now that I got niggas that would listen to me, like all right, bet cool. I I like, will figure this out. Like right. you know what I mean? But True. The, the the problem was and the biggest disconnect that I had and shout out to Dino because when Dino got there, uh, you know, he did a a, a better job of trying to work through it and, and move it together. But to be honest, it was it was just the head coach sets the pace, right? They set the rules. They are the judge, jury, and executioner. That's just typically how it is. Mm -hmm. The captains and the leaders on your team are only empowered by how much authority that the head coach gives them. Yes. So understand, like, if, you know, if we on the team and, you know, you know, the coach is talking about something as small as we don't wear hats in the locker room. That's a rule that you set, that you stood up in that team meeting and said, look, when we come in the building, take your hat off. You know what I mean? We ain't wearing do-rags in around the building. I want our team to be represented a certain way when we in here. If I am if I walk through uh, the study center, I don't want to see you. do Okay, you said that. So if I'm in the, the uh, st student center and I see a young boy and he walk in and he got his do-rag on because I'm in New York and they match the do-rag with the sneaks. Fact. And I tap him, yo, yo. Khalid, that's a New York ass name right there. Uh, Kwali or some shit. <laughs> you be like, I'm gonna chill on the game. Shout out to New York. But if I say, yo, bro, take your, uh, yo, take the do rag off. We ain't doing that. If the head coach really standing on that, if the head coach really be swinging around here sometimes, even the wildest young boy gonna understand that. Zaire don't give a fuck if you your do rag on. It's just the standard that is set by our team. And I'm just here to enforce that for the team. You get what I'm saying? Right. But I done had situations where the coach don't really back you like that. Like, I done had a situation where, you know, we got a team rule. And I'm me as a leader on the team is like, no, look, bro, this is what we said. We all agreed that we was going to do X, Y, and Z. You not doing X, Y, and Z. I'm the one fucking telling you that we need to do X, Y, and Z. I ain't doing the ooh. And then he and then the head coach find out. And then it's just, oh, all right, whatever. Mm. Like, so you oh. telling me I just went the gang one with my brothers. Cause like understand something too, bro. Like, as a player, as a captain, as a leader, I'm always on the side of my teammates. Always. I'm always on the side of the gang. But understand, it's my job to help convey your message. So you going to tell me that I risk my my real allegiance, which is always to them, because that's who I'm with. That's who I'm always mm -hmm. be with. Stand on business. To, to try to uphold a standard that we all said we was going to set just for you not to have my back. I don't feel like you standing on business. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's just like, well, shit, why I even do that for? What I'm here for? You yeah. get what I'm saying? So like, but that, that's, that's bad leadership. You get what I'm saying? You got to empower. That's just like we in the room. And, you know, we, but we, then to that defense, like what I was saying, players are most likely going to pick, like in a leadership role, they're going to pick either a guy, that's gonna a make statistic it guy, yeah. or they're either going to pick somebody that's relatable. That's relatable. Or sometimes, sure. and it's don't not they about being relatable because we're trying to change a culture. True. And sometimes they pick people that like, are like, oh, that's so and so that, you know, they have fifth years. Yeah, or are, they pick, are they position based pick? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, I mean, I I think all that I think that that plays a on both sides, but all that stuff like plays a major major role in terms of um again, like I said, to 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 move the conversation, like what that president, what president the head coaches set, like period, like it's a I think it is a head coach like decision to make. So to pick the leaders on the team, in in terms of. Because to go to his point, shit is who you want to. Well, in, coll in college, I, 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 can't, I, can't, I, can't, I can't agree, I can't agree that the you coach pick the coach, pick the captains because I feel like it's got to be, it's like Game of Thrones, bro. The Night's Watch got to be chosen by the members, bro. That's true. We all choosing to do this shit, bro. It's got to be the people's no, champ. Remember. But in college, no, I'm saying though, in college though, in college. But I don't necessarily like a disconnect between players and coaches. I don't like working for someone. I like working alongside someone. I do better when I work alongside. If I'm working for someone, it's going to always be all right, motherfucker, you not the one. Da, da, da. Like, me in a meeting, I hate when coaches be like, yeah, it's cool. Like, I mean, I'm only saying this from an iPad. Like, nah, you not only saying that from an iPad, bro. Like, you can make a, like, you can make a, 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 a impact on the field. Mm. You talking about if when you they correcting it? You can be the 12th man on the field if you work alongside me. Mm. 
the oh. clip where the clip where 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 Miko Ryan. Like, oh, it's easy for me to say that because I'm holding the clicker. Yeah, I yeah. hate when they say that. Like, nah, you're not just holding the clicker. Yeah. Like when it come down to it, on third, you out, out there, there too, together. motherfucker. Because yeah, guess what? I'm representing you. Exactly. Yeah. So like the clip where Miko Ryan's was like. Hey, when the da 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 and jump in front of the Hold ball the yeah. and just book it. Yeah. Miko yeah. Ryan's was a 12th seven. man on the field. Yeah, that's a fact. It was 12 versus 11 on that play. No, that's yeah, that's so you feel in. what I'm saying? He was tapped in. He was damn near putting himself in the. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He got the iPad. Like, that this ain't his so position textbook. coach. This the head coach. That's all. Brett got the iPad and he's sitting there. Yo, bro, yo, but I ain't giving him too many. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, but it's cool. But that just gets my point across. That just gets my point across. Because they sent us home doing shit, bro. Nah, yeah, I'm on that with you and them, though. See what they do nah, next year. Nah. But look, this is what I'm saying. Nah, nah, no, no, no. Now I got to hate on Houston hit all summer because I feel like I've been showing them too much love. Nah, nah, nah. Now I'm a super villain now. You know what? Nah. Man. We nah, still. Nah, you giving them we went, one, love one. and shit, too? That's no. Nah, nah, what is that? that? What is that? You know, I ain't no. no this man giving no the QB yeah. love. Yeah. The head coach love. I ain't no You wait, pause. You gave the love. I'm going to give respect where respect is due. I just want the same in return when I when I They don't get no respect and we don't get no respect. You feel what I'm saying? No more. We don't like Brad. It's up now. I up now. I'm up with the Texans. I ain't showing no love. Don't show us a beef back Don't ever say it. It's back on. I ain't forget. Don't ever say it again. And nigga don't say nothing to me at the PA. I'm going to bump you. And you get some fruit. And nigga can't never say I hate it on him when I'm up. Hey, that's a fact. The nigga can't never say no, I ain't. I'm going through that with the Texans. We're, we're speaking for EJ's speed, Texans. Motherfucker can't never say that I hated on him when I'm up. Because I'm going to be up. Don't worry about it. That's a fact. I'm going to finish I'm on top. You feel what I'm saying? Right so just keep it P when I'm on top. Because I kept he it P when you did your thing. That's like, a fact. You feel what I'm saying? Nah, but I understand what you're saying, though. Like, you want a coach that, like, you know what I'm saying? 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 Had that buy in. I ain't gonna lie, but I ain't gonna lie. I do, I do, uh, really got a lot of respect with Smith. I think Smith do a great job yeah. with us, uh, in the position. When room. we hurt, Smith hurt for sure. Yeah, for sure. Like, and I, like, I, like, I ain't gonna lie to you. I told him, like, it, it was times where I gave up a place and I, like, I'm like, I feel like I let him down. Like, I mean, yeah. I know he, I know he expect me to, like, you feel me? It's just, you want that type of relationship in the room, like, where, like, Y'all in it together. You get what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, it's us versus the problem. It's not us yeah. versus each other. You know what I mean? So, yeah. but my only thing is, uh, I understand what you're saying, though. Like, I get what you're saying. Like, you want, my only point about that is, is that the coaches know who the influencers on the team is. Yeah. Push the vision. So, they gonna be, now, if you got a team, and I ain't gonna say we didn't have teams, but we didn't have guys who we knew had influence on the team that probably shouldn't have influence on the team. Yeah. Now, sometimes you can't help it. A nigga out there making plays, I mean, you can't stop the motherfucker from making plays. It's football. That's not how that works. <laughs> but I think uh, sometimes coaches do do a good job, or well, at least the good coaches do, of empowering the right guys. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Putting the right, right guys in certain positions just so they end up becoming the list like uh, the FBI. They putting, uh, you know, world leaders in power because they, they like the way he run the country, not the other guy. Yeah. It's a fact. Yeah. Putting cases out on. Oh, you. Um, listen, I just want to say this, and I don't know when we're going to drop this episode, but I just need everybody <laughs> in the world to be aware that Embiid just dropped 70 points on, on Wimby. Who won? You talking about Wimby, bro? Who cares? Who won? Are y'all really? Are y'all? Is that Yo, how y'all I'm just is that saying. Y'all acting, bro? I'm it was a, it's a record. <laughs> Embiid scored 70 game. points. Does it matter if he won or not? I'm asking you straight up. He I passed mean, I, I, Wilt I, Chamberlain's I, I, record. I'm asking you, does that matter? I fuck with the 70. Can I? Can I, can well, I respond? Why? Wimby, and this is a rookie. Me? Just that, that, so it does matter if he won. Can I respond or you not attack me? Okay. What I'm saying to you is, is that Kobe 81, they won. Devin Booker 72, they won. It's a record. Don't be like Cat Williams hating on I'm not or, being uh, like Cat Williams. I'm saying to you factual information. Okay, and B won. So now what? <laughs> That's lit. So you don't have an excuse to not crown him the best player no, in the world. No, but understand is he, he the best versus, is he the best player in the world? He's That's all I'm asking. 70 versus a rookie. Is he the best player in the world right now? That's all I'm asking. The world? He's the is he the best player on the planet right now? No. Yes or no? Top five. Yo, the Embiid hate is crazy. Embiid top five. At in the what? world. Yeah, in the world, bro. You asking me about the world, bro. That's tough. That's top five. It's tough. Top That's five. hard for y'all to admit, You're huh? saying in the It's world. a hard pill that my favorite yeah, player is the best the in the world, world huh? I'm, I'm, You hate that shit. I don't even know. Wimby, bro. Like, compared to the, na- in the ba- National Basketball Association, Joe Wimby is definitely top five. I can see somebody locking up Wimby, but Wimby not an elite defensive player, bro. Okay, but he scored 70 points in the NBA. But can we just yeah. appreciate the fact that he broke the record? Yeah, he... He scored the most points in uh, six or six. Don't be like Will Simone Biles' little husband who 
Come on. Will, Tam- Will, Will Chamberlain, Will Chamberlain got fake nah, ass Nah, that's stats. definitely, that. that's definitely a, a, you know what happened last time we started talking about that. You feel what I'm saying? He been playing with the same franchise, he's score, he's been doing his thing. He didn't get my point. Well, Nobody listen. thinks Embiid scored 70 points. Yeah, it's a record. Can we just appreciate the record? The he's 70 a center. Is not a record. He's the a center. He's not a record. He's a record. He beat Wilt Chamberlain. Yeah, he passed Wilt Chamberlain scoring, but the 70 points in one game is not a record. He's talking about that he just scored 70. He points. damn near could have had any no, in 76ers oh, history. Hey, yo, yo, yeah, yeah, he Why, got his thing in 76 can, can we talk about that? Why he's is Kobe's 81 so head and shoulders over other niggas? Like, I get the 81 is iconic. Yeah. But did he go to triple overtime? Damn, really? I don't think so. I'll Google it. I think he, he went, went to one. overtime at least. He went to overtime. Yeah, he went to overtime. That's but you got to understand. Hold on, wait, wait. You got to understand that Kobe's 81, like, they were losing the game. And went on to win five rings. Like, come on, bro. Yeah, they, won, they were losing the game. <laughs> Yo, 81 points not easy, and B bro. Has no- is 70 Is 70 easy? Oh, my God. You don't want me to tell you. The young nigga He's in high so school just scored 70. That's what I'm saying. Like, he do it in the NBA. Bro, the he NBA doesn't play defense. <laughs> At all. At all, bro. I'm just glad that all this is being recorded and watched Jada, pull so up, we can see in pull real up the, time pull up the, for the that. Embiid so hate, bro. This was, is out For Kobe. Kobe. Pull, pull up when the stats of Kobe. At, at, yes. yes. See how many points he had in regulation. Yes. How many How many points did he have in regulation? How many quarters? How many quarters did they play? No OT. Come on, bro. Yeah, Four quarters, like Kobe scored 81. And look, did he miss some time? No, 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 oh, no. Oh, yeah, no. Embiid, no, Embiid didn't do over. No, Kobe was not over T, bro. I don't think Kobe was over T. Article's long. OT or she not. She reading an article. OT or not. It's too long. I'm trying MB to scroll Embiid had OT games, point. nigga. 80 point game. Kobe played four quarters, bro. Four NBA. Quarters. It was four quarters. It was four quarters. Full box score. He went 28 for 46. They were losing. Okay, but can we just appreciate his record? No, I'm not saying that. We just we're, we're debating at, at this point in time right now. We're talking about why Kobe's 81 is so heralded as being like the upper echelon. You don't. It want, is the just, number two. Just let Z have his moment with the huh. guy and with fucking Embiid. He just, just let him with have the guy. it. She said the guy. With the guy. Just let him have Embiid. it. No, I'm not, bro. Look, I'm not disrespecting Joel. They don't let me have points. things, Jade. I think that's a part. That's moment. a part. That's why I, I, maybe it's because I fight so hard for my clans. <laughs> for, for my for, for my teams, yo, you know and B I mean? having for, seventy points for is my tough. Philadelphia's and B having seventy points is fucking tough, bro. For your Shout out to Cuse. I'm Indian animal. I'm an Indian animal now too. I'm an Indian animal too Knights. now. I'm, I'm bumping. I'm going to war for all my Indian Knights. Lover. My, my Hoosiers. Shout out to the Hoosiers, yo. Shout I out asked, to the roundabout. Super side bro. No, I fuck asked the roundabout. All right. I asked like so many people like in the last like week like what is a Hoosier. We might be potting for two. I don't care. You know what yeah, that is? I don't even care what a Hoosier is. I think I've seen like a... Uh, I can show you it's one. like a person who drinks or something like that. It's, it's an Indiana a, person. It's one... For one, it's like defined as being a person from Indiana. Two, it's a person that like does stuff like that. This is like the that. great yeah. state of Indiana, mind you. Per my GA, she's from here. Oh, wow. Okay. The great state of Indiana? The great, oh, yes. Anytime she, I'm from the great state of Indiana. <laughs> yeah, but no, Hoosier, like they said they got their name like... Okay. It's, it's like Hosa... It's like a um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, indigenous name. Yeah, it's like a, the origin starts with that. Congratulations! I didn't know. I, like I said, I always wanted to know like I what a Hoosier that the was. The word indigenous and in Indiana would be in the same sentence. Yeah, I'll tell you what, they, I didn't know. Ain't no indigenous here no more. They that's got what the, I'm got like. What indigenous is about <laughs> Indiana? I'm just saying. I mean, no, no shade. That's, I'm just saying. I, yeah, like, look, I, that, that's that, that what game I, uh, cops and robbers went one right. way. <laughs> that's what I heard. That shit did that's not what, work. <laughs> oh yeah, that's over with. That's they, what they, they were. Took oh this motherfucker. That's what I heard. That's what people were telling me. Like, there's so many, and then it's like a poem. <laughs> and then it's like a poem that's been written that Can't people like that. use the word for and stuff. So yeah, we talking about Hoosiers. I I'm mean, saying, have you ever seen the movie Hoosiers? I have seen the basketball movie Hoosiers, and the head coach in Hoosiers is a great. Who's the head coach in the movie Hoosiers? He was like some. I don't think I'll be watching was like the movie amazing. Hoosiers. Not even He's a, a great movie. actor. Who is it? I gotta show it to you. Who? Yeah. Who was that? Look him up. He's a goat. Oh, wait, he played in... Oh, he was the head coach in the replacements. If it ain't Coach Carter, I don't know He was the head coach in the replacements. I love him. I actually have an argument that I've really been saving, like, almost 
five years now, but for who? I truly believe that the Migos is one of the best rap groups of all time. Save that. They might be the best. Save that. And I really don't think they get the respect or the credit that they deserve. And I think Takeoff Dying is a true tragedy in hip hop. And sure. I also think it's tragic that we never gonna get another Migos song again. Cause I don't see Quavo and Offset settling that bitch up, at least until like the 50 year, like, well, it was already the 50. So like the 100 year BT, the 75th BT uh, anniversary show. Quavo and Offset gonna come back out like Crips and Bloods. What they uh, that's what they did. They you not gonna be cool. Child, yeah. But damn, that is really crazy. You think about all the shit that they really done gave us, though. They didn't gave us a plethora of hits, man. Yeah. They really don't give me. I'm talking about. Break, I gotta put. I gotta put Migos like they over outcast. They like this is a old. We gotta have a combo with old heads about this, but they got everything you need, bro. Everything they change music, bro. That's They're like the best. a generate like hey, super yeah. super sideboard. Like Drop call with quest. Them. Like put them in that category. They're what they do, like seven years strong. At least yeah, that. I'm thinking when not I got 10. high school 13? 2012 to like, like 22. All the way through college. Yeah, 13 to 23 at least. Yeah. And then four years. Hey, Super Sidebar. They asking, that shit took us through They asking for the trenches playlist. Never going to get it. Uh-uh. <laughs> Never going to get it. Keep waiting. Shazam me. <laughs> they was the best group, bro. They, they perfectly complimented everybody. Offset probably the best one. I got to be honest. He probably was the best one. He had all the talent. It's the voice. Yeah. 